whoops. All right, uh, whoops. A little bit of a stream glitch, but taken care of in mere moments. Played the intro way too early. Just ignore that. Just ignore that. Pretend you, uh, you're you seeing the intro for the first time when I actually play it, what I'm supposed to. All right. Ah, oh, man, it's good to be back at the at the old streaming hole. I guess that's what I'm calling where I stream from now on. The old streaming hole. And it's great to have you fine folks here at the old streaming hole with me. Gonna be with you folks in just under 30 seconds. Hell yeah. It's good to see all of you. I'm liking this group. I'm liking this Motley crew. And I'm not talking about the band, of course. Who, who would like Motley crew? I'm talking about you guys. You're the true Motley crew of my heart, and I'm just killing time. Very obviously. All right, let's begin. <laughs> Greetings, I'm your host, Dr. Wolfula, and welcome to Doc's Game Room, where I live scream horror games for your dangertainment. Tonight's feature presentation will be the Dead Space remake released this year. Not the original version of the game from 2008, the new update. So, you know, if you've been wondering which version I'm streaming, of course it's the new one, of course. I would be a fucking idiot if I streamed the original one. I'd be like really sh shooting myself in the foot here. So yes, it is the new remake. But before we begin, just want to let you guys know there's going to be a, a new review on the Gulag channel coming very soon. It's already been completed. A review of Adam's Family 2019. And right now, currently editing the review of Velma, the highly requested review of the very much maligned Velma show. A show I also do not like. And I'm going to go into very great detail about it. It's gonna be a fucking long doozy of a video. Oh boy. But if you want to watch that Adam's Family video, it's up in early access now on the Patreon. If you're interested, a link in the description. You get early access and you also get access to movie nights every Sunday. Gonna have a double feature of My Bloody Valentine 3D, the remake, and Valentine 2001 at the Die-In Theater. A little bonus movie stream, so if you're interested, consider supporting the Patreon, patreon.com slash drwolf. You'll link in the description. And finally, we got some new merch finally on my official Tee Public store. A new Savage AF t-shirt and a new You Fucking Weirdo t-shirt available now. You don't even have to get it as a t-shirt. You can put those designs on anything. Mugs, uh, bags, uh, a dildo. No, not, not that, not that. Other kinds of shirts, even hoodies. So, you know, if you want to, to buy some merch, consider it. Link in the description. All right, though, let's begin Dead Space 2023. All right, let's start a new game now. Gonna be doing it on medium. I'm not fucking crazy. It's a pretty tough game. Wanna take it easy. All right, Ishimura Planet Side Team is loading up. Taking its time. Taking its time. All right, here's a little bit of backstory. Very important exposition. Gotta know all the crew members on this assignment. Memorize these names. I'm gonna be making contact in two minutes. Hell yeah. I think it's me. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. Man, who is this Gilf? Is this my girlfriend? Hell yeah. Oh man. It's all nice. I like my women nice and mature. Kick ass. I bet she knows a lot of moves. Such a little thing. God, it's so crazy, like, yeah. she's like realistically aged in the remake. In the original game, she looked like she was in her 20s. They made her actually in her 40s in this game, like him, like her boyfriend here. But it's, it's so funny, like, Calls. Being used to the original version where they're like, Easy to say they're wrong. they look like they're little kids and they're like in their 40s. My girlfriend over Hamden for signing security protocols. Forewarned is forearmed, Mr. But, you know, this is one of the biggest changes in the remake. In the sequels, of course, uh, Isaac, you actually see his face a whole lot and you hear his voice. He actually talks, but in the original version of Dead Space, he was a silent protagonist. So it's pretty cool. In the remake, they actually retconned him into, like, a guy who actually talks. It's a little weird, though. 
I guess if you're used to the original version, though, it's kind of hard to get used to after a while. But you do get used to it, but it's like a little jarring at first. Dead Video Games has a super chat. Dark Space. Two great things made whole. Hell yeah. Thanks for the support. I don't know why I'm looking at his face. I'm just like, I'm not so not used to looking at Isaac's face. I'm like, I gotta look at this guy. There's like this spaceship right here. A spooky spaceship. Like, it's really cool looking, but I just can't help but not look at this guy. Is that why you were digging into my personal... They should call this dad space. Computer analyst comes with a job. Mm. I ran standard CEC background checks, Miss Daniels. You want to work in the big... When are we going to land? <clears throat> Sir, we're in Ailing Ranch. USG Ishimura. This is the emergency maintenance team of the USG... All right, we're going to be landing very soon, I hope. Come in, Ishimura. Man, the Ishimura, I just noticed, looks like a rib cage. It's kind of cool. Come in. This is USG television. You know, it's like a very beautiful sunset. It's like the perfect time to land. Never. Come on. It's so lovely. Like damn phone. What the hell is that? Uh, sounds like their communication arrays. I think in the original game, Johnston was a dude. Daniels and I, can I think, you know, eight hours max. you know, I, very interesting choices made in the remake. It's not like an exact remake, but Jen, Johnson, take us it's kind of cool. I guess it's just based on whoever they decided to cast. I'm the docking. Let's go. Gilgi says, wait, they made a Dead Space in 2023. Yep, and this is it. The remake. The very faithful remake. It's one of those great remakes where... It doesn't really look like they changed anything. It's like how you remembered the game being, but then you look back at what the game actually looked like and you're like, oh, wow. Yeah, they really did update a whole lot. <laughs> but it's great because it doesn't really mess with like how you remembered the game if you played it originally, but in reality it does. In a lot of good ways though. Definitely a high quality remake. Good evening to you, Lich Lord. Who just said good evening to me. And just so you guys know, I am playing this on the PC. And if you're unfamiliar with PC gaming, a lot of PC ports are kind of unoptimized. So even though this remake runs well on my PC, it still has like this stuttering issue where every now and then it'll kind of stutter. Sorry about that. Just comes with the territory of gaming on a PC. Because I have it, I have ray tracing on and everything. Like, it's running great. It's just there's every now and then there's a stutter, and it's like a very common issue with this remake on PC. Some people don't have the issue, which is great for them. But even with, like, I have, like, a 4070 Ti I upgraded. Still, every now and then get these little tiny stutters, and they drive me crazy. But let's finally board the Ishimura. Took our time. Looks pretty fucking cool. I like their little logo up there. We'll register them in the flight launch. Hello? All right, I gotta follow the security team. They're the ones guarding me. I'm the important guy. Johnson might disagree. But if you're off in the by the first round. I'm fucking one of the crew members, you know. I you know, I I I I I'm an inside guy, you know, both literally and figuratively. Zachary Allen Jones says, Hi, I love your videos. And do you know this game was inspired by H.P. Lovecraft? It had a lot of inspirations. It was originally supposed to, when EA owned the rights, it was intended to be a... It was intended to be System Shock 3. But then they kind of created a whole bunch of new stuff to the point where they were just like, let's just make it a new intellectual property. But you can definitely tell a lot of stuff from System Shock 2 was uh, carried over into this game. But the biggest difference, of course, is this is a third-person shooter and the System Shock games are first-person. But I think that was also why Isaac was silent originally, because it was supposed to be like a System Shock game, and System Shock games are always like about a silent protagonist. So they're like, okay, let's just carry that forward. But, you know, thankfully this remake finally fully uh, sets itself apart. 
Once we get to like the inventory system, though, then you'll if you played the System Shock games, and you'll kind of see like a lot of similarities. If for whatever reason you're more familiar with System Shock than Dead Space, I kind of doubt that. I'm gonna move my uh, game window screen just so I can see the lovely chat better. Just want to see you guys just a little bit better, cause all right, that should be good. Yeah, that that's nice and good. All right, now let's keep moving forward. Now, the thing I like about this game, for the sake of streaming, is that it has this very useful... Well, okay, I guess I can't use it yet. But it has this useful waypoint system if it worked right now. It doesn't work yet. But it just tells you where you need to go. And if you're familiar with my streams, it's very easy for me to miss shit. Because I'm, like, looking at the chat and not quite thinking. So, it's nice when a game just kind of does a lot of the thinking for me. Not a great thing to some people, but at least for the sake of streaming, makes my job a lot easier. That security console still working. Isaac, get a damage report. I'm done playing around. All right, I'll get the damage report, and hopefully, no spooky space creatures pop out. I really hope not. It always sucks when that happens. Yes, yeah, like there's these little stuttering issues whenever you like enter a new room, like like loading the room up or something it's like i feel like it's probably not an issue on the console version there eh, but oh well let's activate this bitch oh god that what have you got man? shit it's not just comms with the guidance system half the ishimura's in the red engines hull the tramps king n reyes asks Oh, King N. King N. Reyes asks, "Hey Doc, what type of headset slash microphone do you use?" I'm using a Blue Yeti X uh, as a microphone, and I'm using a uh, Sony XM5 uh, headphone set. Okay, not heads. It's technically headphones. No, I mean you can use it as a headset, but I don't recommend it. Okay, that doesn't sound good. Sony, like, really is bad at, like, naming their deluxe headphones. It's always, like, just a bunch of numbers. And Oh, shit! Okay, uh, maybe that's more important. Uh, maybe I should be talking about that. Uh, yeah, that guy's dead. Oh, man. I... Oh, okay. Uh, that guy owed me, like, 20 bucks, too. That sucks. Wow. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Wait, which way do I go? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, shit, another guy. Okay, oh, it's three. Oh, man, four? Come on, okay, five. Now you're pushing it. Wow. Let's keep moving. All right, sweet. Okay, uh, let me uh, just... Uh, okay, fuck. It's nice that the tutorial necromorphs are so much slower. Oh, God, no, okay, all right. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Mr. SBD says, hey, Doc, do you plan on re-reviewing movies you've already covered? Um, potentially the Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequels, the earlier ones. So that, for example, because I think I reviewed all those like in the first year of running this channel. Um, <laughs> a lot of those videos I'd really like to update in some way, but I'm trying not to do a lot of re-reviews anytime soon and just kind of covering unfamiliar territory for now, but keep an eye out. You never know. Nicolo asks, are my neighbors being annoying right now? I don't hear any noise, so luckily this is not one of their fucking crazy nights where they're like blasting music all night and revving up their fucking engines all through the evening. Oh boy, that always sucks. All right, but the main thing that's cool about picking up this plasma cutter is I can finally stomp stuff get some money but yeah this is the plasma cutter the signature weapon of isaac um it's definitely the most versatile and useful weapon i mean it's not the most powerful weapon but it's the one that comes in the most handy you always want to try to like save your plasma cutter once you get some other weapons just because ammo in this game is scarce and this is the only weapon that's really good at cutting off the limbs that's the main that's really like, that's what that says right there. Cut off their limbs. That's what you gotta do in this game. You, 
you, you really shouldn't be shooting the bodies or the heads of the uh, necromorphs we encounter. You gotta cut off their limbs, and this lets you, like, more precisely cut off their limbs. So if their, like, limbs are horizontal, you got them, like, you get the cutter like this. When they're vertical, you get it like this, like, when they're, like, above their heads and shit like that, like... That's basically it. That's all I can really do. It kind of adjusts, but whatever. Let's keep moving. Killing time. Really. Ah, oh, yeah, that's... Oh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that guy is... Uh, that guy is raring to go. That guy's like... All right, okay, well, he's dead. All right. He was like, ooh. Well, I like my food fast. All right. Okay, I didn't need to stomp that guy, but you never know. Maybe he had something inside him. That's the other thing, is that when you kill enemies, sometimes when you stomp them, they drop items. It's pretty nice. Uh, okay, let's see. Well, well, let's see what's going on down there. I'm sure nothing spooky, jump scary, or anything like that. Oh, God, no! All right. Plasma energy. Hell yeah. Michael Diaz asks, ever played the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games? I can't say that I have can't say that I have. The only Marvel games I've really ever played... I, well, I, I think I played the, the X-Men game on Sega Genesis, and of course, the Spider-Man games. The Dreamcast one, then, you know, the, t the first two licensed movie ones, of course, with Tobey Maguire, and then, of course, the recent PS4, PS5 ones, the, the first one in Miles Morales, you know, those ones. But I'm not a big Marvel guy. Not a guy who's like... Hell yeah, Marvel. Right between the eyes and it didn't oh, man. Die. Smith had to shoot its fucking arms and legs off. For God's sake, send help! So, you know, much like Bioshock, or I guess System Shock uh, is more apt of a comparison, there's, you know, these audio logs scattered around that gives you a little bit of context of what's happened on the Ishimura in who knows how many days or weeks or months have passed. Maybe even years. Probably not years. Yeah, no, probably not years. A lot of shit has gone down. A lot of bad shit. Get to find out more information. You made it. Just... They're everywhere. Shit, is he, uh... He's... gone. Nothing I can do. What the fuck are these things? The ones I saw... Cameron D asks, Did you like Gotham Knights? I haven't played it. I'm waiting until it's like $10 on Steam. We need to get to the bridge. Uh, it just doesn't look fun. It doesn't look fun to me. The gameplay just looks very bland. The open world looks bland. Uh, it doesn't look... I don't know. It just doesn't look appealing to me. I'll probably pick it up at some point when it's on sale, but it just... It looks very disappointing. And, you know, when they announced the console versions would just be locked at 30 FPS, and they look... And the game looks like how, how it looks, it's very sad and, like... Of course, I'll get the PC version. Eventually, it'll be like 10 bucks on Steam. Like, that's a great thing about Steam. Stuff goes on sale pretty quick, and it, it's already it's already been 30 bucks on Steam. It's gonna go lower soon. I just know it. Like, uh, gotta hold. Gotta hold out. All right, let's uh, keep moving. Okay, is my uh, save station available yet? Okay, now. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, sweet. All right, let's save. I always love the fact that the save station looks like a little camera. Or I guess a big camera, I, sh I should say. Um, it's little to me because it's on a computer screen to me. It's kind of like a small camera, but it's actually a huge camera. It's very cute. I kind of wonder what the save station is in-universe. They always have, like, these kind of save points in video games, but you never quite know what they what they're used for, like, in the actual universe of the game. I mean, I guess maybe it's... Maybe it's just one of those things you see at the mall, like one of those selfie stations. You get to take, like, a cute little picture and, like, post it on your Twitter or Facebook or whatever. All right, but yeah, that's the cool thing about this game, the waypoint system. One of many cool things, but I appreciate it for streaming, uh, streaming purposes. I'm not like, which door do I go through? I know exactly. All right, that's not good. That's not good at all. I guess I could get Gotham Knights on Steam and play it for at least under two hours to see if I like it. And if I don't like it, I could get a... I could get a refund, technically. Okay, I can't go in that door yet. All right, I gotta keep moving. All right, we got a Necromorph up ahead. I just know it. I feel it in my bones, Sheriff. All right, so far, no Necromorph. 
Now the cool thing, one of the cool things that Isaac can do is he can use stasis. He can freeze enemies in place. Once I get that off the corpse, then I can finally use stasis. It's cool that he has like the ability with his suit to use stasis. He just doesn't have the module. He's like, he was like hoping like before he got to the ship, maybe there's like a dead guy who I can borrow a stasis module from. Uh, use these to recharge them. These are basically the only free recharge stations. And a lot of other games, they'll have like recharge for health, stuff like that. Not in this game. So you gotta be very careful, very smart with not getting a hit because there's no, none of these for health, but at least it's helpful for stasis. All right, let's keep moving. Did I miss? Oh, wait. Oh, oh shit. I always just get the timing completely wrong. I was like, I thought I missed it first, the door, and I was like, all right. Okay, the door didn't hurt me that much, though. But yeah, those doors can really wing you. Really, uh, kick your ass. All right. Oh, another safe station. Hell yeah. Might as well. Better safe than sorry. James Remington says, Could you stream the, the two free hours of Gotham Knights if I get it? I guess. Um, I guess it... I don't know. I guess it would be a kind of interesting stream if I was just like... All right, I gotta play this game. And by the two hour mark, I have to decide if I wanna refund it or not. And you get to see my refund process. Got to be a very dumb stream. All right. Ooh, another stasis recharge. They go easy on you in this uh, tutorial level. Okay, I wanna see if there's any like, okay, here's an optional place. Ooh, the bathrooms. I need to take a shit anyway, all right. Okay, hopefully there's some good stuff in here while I... Uh, oh, wow, looks like this guy has quite the irritable colon. Uh, oh, well. Rest in peace. All right, let's see. I do kind of wish... I don't know. Uh, it's... I don't know. I, I guess it's something some people wouldn't want, but I do kind of wish you just had, like, a, f a flashlight permanently on instead of having to point your weapon to use your flashlight. Uh... But, yeah, I guess that would just make the game too easy. When you use your flashlight, you have to walk while you're aiming. It's a game mechanic, ultimately. It's just how it has to be, but... I wouldn't mind a nice little uh, shoulder-mounted flashlight attachment. Mr. SBD says, Hey, Doc, will you ever stream Metroid Prime Remaster on Switch? I did get... Metroid Prime Remaster, and I'm enjoying it. It's not like the most breathtaking example of a remaster, but it looks pretty cool. Um, it's an, it's a genuinely an upgrade. It's just one of those things where if it was on a more powerful system, it would have been a much bigger upgrade than it is, but it's, it's a fine upgrade. I don't know if I'd stream it, but maybe. I don't know. It's not really a horror game. It has, like, you know, nice little kind of spooky atmosphere, but... Vents into engineering. You got a stasis module handy? We need one in tram maintenance stat. The mm. auto loader's fried. Nice. I got a damaged tram car. Nice fresh guy. The whole system's yeah. gridlocked. Get Telepathically to drunk here. while I listen to this lore. What happened to the auto loader? Michael Diaz asks, the no spooky idea. space kook in this no, game? I wish. Down. I mean, maybe the necromorphs are related to the Diamond spooky space kook. They kind of look like him. You know? I know. All right, well... It's time to do my fucking job as a space engineer. Man, it's gotta suck being Isaac having like severe scoliosis. Ugh, it's gotta suck. All right. Warning. Autoloader malfunction. Please contact a repair technician. I am a repair technician, so I guess I should contact myself. All right, let's uh, see what the issue is. All right. Okay, I gotta use, uh... Oh! Sh Wait, what? Oh, fuck! Oh, that guy's got quite the limp. And I think there's a guy behind me, isn't there? Get the fuck out of my face, dude. Oh, fuck. Okay, I thought there was a guy behind me. I guess not. Ah. I was like, there's just gotta be a guy behind me, right? Alright, let's try that again. Did I get it? No. Damn it. Disengaged. Any luck moving that tram car? The 
the auto loaders. All right, got it. Sweet. This should do the trick. Just gotta time it. Great. But hurry. Okay. Okay, I gotta get the other one. And I just know there's gonna be a nice little necromorph popping out, too. Oh, wait. No, wait. Oh, wait. He's like, no. Okay, well, there's one. All right, I gotta give myself a little space. And I gotta use, I gotta remember to use my fucking stasis. Anytime you have, like, these... Oh, shit, that guy was, like, ready to go. <laughs> Anytime you have these, like, very useful tools, like stasis in games, I always forget to use them. Oh, fuck. All right, I got a bit of his arm off. All right, well, he's dead. And I gotta heal. All right, let's recharge stasis and let's do this. All right, where are you going? You going over there? You got enough? No way, all right, I didn't need to do that. All right, let's do this. All right, let's go. Mr. SBD says they haven't made many Scooby-Doo games. I'm hoping they change that. It's been a long time since we've gotten a Scooby-Doo game that wasn't like an app. Oh, fuck. I, well, okay, I did, I did freeze that guy, so that's useful. All right, that guy's dead. Is that it? All right, that should be it. Yeah, I'm hoping they make another Scooby-Doo game someday, because it's been a long time. I think they could do a good Scooby-Doo game. I thought, I, I've been thinking, I mean, if they must do it that way, it would be cool if they did maybe, ah, oh, of course, another one. Make use of the stasis chamber, I might as well. Oh, fuck. Come on, get the other arm off. There we go. Ah. I could be aiming so much better if I was using my mouse and keyboard, but I'm just so fucking used to using a controller. I just... That's one down. And it's... This game has really easy mouse and keyboard controls, too, but I just insist... I insist on using a controller. I can't not use a controller. It, it's just such a fucking... I don't know. Such a crutch for me. All right, let's keep moving. But yeah, I was thinking it would be kind of cool if they made, like, a, you know, an asymmetrical Scooby-Doo game. Five players play as Scooby and the gang, and another player plays as the monster. And maybe, like, maybe you could have multiple monsters that, uh... Because, you know, sometimes Scooby mysteries have multiple guys anyway. Like, they'll have, like, two guys working together. Maybe they'll do, like, a ghost face thing. Switching places as the monster. Maybe do something like that. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, yeah, that's really not good. Um, yeah, there's things that are good and things that are bad. That's definitely one of those bad things. All right, definitely this way, though. All right. And thanks for the super chat, Comic Rider 2020. Make us whole. Uh, I'll try my best to make us whole. This family has been separated for too long. This cosmic family. I'm hoping this game has a bad ending where I can... You know, become become friends with the necromorphs, help them out. All right, this time I gotta not get winged by the door. There we go. That's more like it. All right, let's recharge. There's only really one way to go, but I'm just <laughs> again, I love my crutches. Like a guy with no legs, I really appreciate my crutches. I guess a guy with no legs wouldn't really use crutches. If he had one leg, he might use crutches, but... But yeah, I... By crutches, I mean the waypoint. Oh, man, I just love that. Just love it. It's such a fucking... One of those things that really casualized gaming, but... For the sake of a stream, I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I probably would have beat... I probably would have beaten Resident Evil 8 in a stream if I just had a waypoint system. <laughs> just like the most casual thing. Just like, oh man. Even with the waypoint system, I like, will still like wander off. Like, oh, what's over here? Let's see. All right. Revan Starborn says, Count Wolfula is going to shit his pants. 
What's this? What's this I'm hearing about count? I'm not a count. I wish I was a cow. Be it'd be pretty cool. All right. I think you have to like own some land in like Europe or something to be a count, though. Give me those fucking arms of yours. Come on, give me the arm. There we go. Sweet. Fucking crab legs. Hell yeah. Oh man, juicy. Fucking juicy. All right, let's uh do my fucking job. Okay, which way? Oh, I want to check out storage first. I like these circuit breaker things. All right, let's re reload. Let's see, cargo hall. Let's check that out first. This is where I'm supposed to go, but I really... Oh man, that's not good. I really want to see what kind of loot I can get. All right. Oh wait, I should probably be following. Okay, is it this way? No, that's the controller. That's where I was at. Where's this cargo hold? Oh yeah, there we go, there it is. Totally missed it. All right. Oh, that doesn't... Oh, yeah. That... Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. Don't worry. We're okay. Just fine. I'm just hearing spooky noises. But they can't hurt me. I'm safe in this place. All right. All right. Honestly, though, this game is scary, but I... I gotta say, System Shock 2 is still scarier to me as a game, just because that game has, like, actively respawning enemies that are constantly going on patrol through the ship, and they're unpredictable. That really spooks me a, a lot with that game. I still haven't fully completed System Shock 2. I've gotten, like, more than halfway, but, man, game still still spooks me. But I guess I meant to show this, but uh, if, you're f if you're familiar with System Shock 2 or the System Shock games in general, very similar inventory screen, and just like with System Shock 2, it's uh, in real time, so you can't, like, look at your map or look at your missions or look at your inventory and be safe from, like, the enemies. So you always got to stay vigilant. So you don't have to worry about them, like, going on patrol and respawning and being ultra unpredictable. But, you know, it's still spooky. It's a lot more of a scripted game than System Shock, but still very spooky. Like that. That's pretty, that's pretty scary. Give me those fucking arms. Give me your arm. Okay, sweet. And there's, like, another guy. Man, I always just think there's, like, gonna be another guy behind me just, like, getting jumped. Oh, no. Yeah, there's, like, another guy behind me, but he's pretty far back. There he is. Yeah, he's a fast guy. Some of them like to rush along, and then the other ones are, like, they like to take their time. They got, like, a limp. Yeah, I guess, you know, I don't need to crush all their, all their bodies, but I just keep doing it. I think I hear another guy. I don't know if he's popped out yet, though. All right. See if there's any loot over here. Nope, just lots of bleach bottles. This place really needs a lot of bleach, honestly. Where are you, dude? I hear your spooky music. Oh, yeah, there you are. All right. Okay, I see you. Get over here. Dude. Oh. All right. Okay. Now, I know you got a friend around here, don't you? No? All right, fine. He'll show him. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I hear you. I hear a guy. Okay, it could just be the ambient sounds. I hear something. It could just be the ambient. All right. Yeah, it's probably just the spooky, spooky sound effects for now. But yeah, oh, I should probably be using these, actually. Ugh, I'm so fucking stupid. There we go. Yeah, that took him out. I think it hurt me a little bit, but uh, I at least saved some ammo. Yeah, this place is filled with, like, these explosive barrels, and I'm just, like, not paying attention to them at all. Again, that's the thing, you know, that's my... One of, one of many weaknesses streaming. I'm just, like, not really uh, totally on the ball. All right. Get the loot before we move forward. Crush this. 
A real man doesn't open a box with his hands. He opens it with his uh, feet. All right, I think I don't. I I go up here anyway later, but yeah. Okay, let's just follow the waypoint for now. I got enough loot to take care of me for now. Let's keep moving. Mr. SBD did warn me about um, the explosive barrels. Yeah, yeah, I'll make sure I don't uh, blow myself up, or at least try my best. Sometimes. It could seem like it's unavoidable. King of the Fat asks, Doc, do you like Mario? Who doesn't like Mario? Who doesn't? I gotta say, Super Mario 64 and uh, Super Mario Odyssey, two of my uh, favorite games, for sure. Mm. Telepathic Fresca, the best drink ever. Oh, Mr. SBD points out you can stomp on those barrels and die. I think I stomped on one of them before in my uh, non-stream playthrough of this game, but I don't think I died. I just got really fucked up. I feel like they're kind of forgiving when it comes to the, um, at least on certain difficulties, when it comes to, like, the environmental traps. They're a lot more unforgiving towards the enemies, at least on, like, normal mode. Eh. Then again, maybe I... Mistaken. Okay, I just wanted to see. Maybe though. Oh yeah, that guy's definitely alive though. That guy got me. I was like, okay, that's another dead guy. You I should have used the explosive barrel. I don't know what I'm. There's one right there. I could have did that. Man, I'm just wasting ammo. This fucking these plasma charges don't grow on trees. They're trying to like teach me to use the environment as my weapon, and I'm just not, I'm not learning it. It's not, it's not coming to me. King of the Fat says, I'm currently playing Super Mario 3D World. Yeah, I really enjoyed that game. I played it on Wii U and also on the uh, Switch. All right, I'm not gonna read the text lore stuff. I read it uh, on my own time, but I don't wanna like be standing around reading flavor text. Okay, so this part... Well, alright. Let's see if I can... Yeah. I gotta turn off the lights, unfortunately. This is, this is gonna be uh, definitely the trial by fire of this game. Totally dark. Only got my flashlight. Yeah, this ain't good. All right, that guy went down pretty easy. There's gotta be like another guy around here. You think you're fast? You're not fast anymore, dude. Just die, just die, give me that arm. All right, there we go. All right, hopefully you got some more plasma energy. There we go. All right. All right, I was hoping for uh, some other ammo, but I guess not. All right, let's keep moving. They can be spawning anywhere. All right, where are you? I know you gotta be right here somewhere. All right, maybe not, okay. All right, definitely down this elevator. There isn't like a hidden door or anything. All right. Nothing can harm me in the elevator. The elevator is my safe haven. Oh boy. A lot of a lot of different ways a uh, necromorph can pop out, that's for sure. Yeah. All right. Let's take it easy. Like, right behind me, actually. All right, I think I took him. Yeah, yeah, okay, I took him out. All right, sweet. All right, that was, that was very lucky because it, that explosive barrel was just kind of behind that corner. Like, very easily miss it and waste a shot, so. Waste a shot and also look like a fucking idiot, so... Alright, let's upgrade my, uh... Okay, uh, let's try my best. Oh, fuck! That guy's fast! Yeah. Oh, there was, like, another guy. Okay, he wasn't really fast at all. He just had a friend. Uh. Alright. Please tell me you guys are almost dead. 
Okay. Damn it. Yeah, that could have gone a lot better. I probably could have got him with that explosive barrel right there. Yeah, I could have got him, but I didn't. Ooh, but cargo room. I like that. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, okay, yeah, this maintenance bay off. Hell yeah. All right, nodes. Hell yeah. Send me, send me nodes. If you're following me on Instagram, send me nodes. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, not reading this, but uh, you know, you could pause. You could pause the stream and read this text if you want. To. There you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. This is. Isaac, oh wait. Oh, I thought that was like the next movement. cool Hold weapon. On. Never mind. I'm coming back to tram control now. Daniel, get ready to go. All right, let's uh, finally upgrade my shit. Hell yeah. Don't have a whole lot to upgrade. I just got my suit and my plasma cutter. I'm gonna focus mostly on the plasma cutter for now. Capacity, yeah, there we go. All right, suit. Hit points, all right. I try not to put too much into hit points just because upgrading hit points gives you an excuse to play a game worse. And, you know, uh, try not to get into that bad habit. Like, okay, I don't need to try as hard to, you know, dodge attacks or anything because I have uh, higher hit points, yeah. Try to avoid that. I like my crutches, but I try to not become too reliant on them. I'm trying to learn how to walk again. All right, that guy's dead. There's gotta be another guy, though. There's another guy, I hear him. You're, you're around here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, there you are. All right, let's just get behind him. Come on. All right, sweet. I'm the predator. You're the prey. Learn the difference. All right. Man, I really want the telekinesis already. There's so many of these explosive barrels. I could be having such an explosion parade right now. All right, that guy's dead. Oh, sweet. Man, this... Fucking room is so dark. I apologize to folks. This isn't like you might be looking at a black screen right now, but um, trust me, there's actual gameplay going on in this game. Just a little hard to see right now. All right, time to save. Yep. Yeah. Gavin Elrod asks, Doc, what do you like about the 13th Ghost of Scooby-Doo? Um, I definitely don't like Flim Flam. I think the only thing I really like about that show was Vincent Price, for sure. He was the only good addition. Um, I mean, I guess the only, there was only two additions to that show, Vincent Van Gogh and Flim Flam, but definitely the only good thing they added. They should have kept Vincent Van Gogh just around. All right. They, well, I mean, they did bring him back, though. They did. They brought Vincent Van Gogh back in uh, Mystery Incorporated, and again in, like, that third, uh, Curse of the 13th Ghost movie. All right, more plasma energy. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. All right, well... Let's, it's this way, right? Yeah, it is. All right, cool. Let's go. All right, time to install this data board. All right, okay. Data board is, okay, I guess it's right over here. Hail to the yeah. Installed. System restart complete. No thanks, says Vincent Van Gogh was great in Mystery Incorporated his cameos, too. I mean, it was a very cool way to handle Vincent Van Gogh in the show, because in 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, he's, a, of course, like this wizard, warlock, Doctor Strange guy. But in Mystery Incorporated, you know, the supernatural exists, but it's not 
as out there. So it's it was cool they reimagined Vincent Van Gogh as just like a horror host. Maintenance complete. A horror host slash uh, horror actor whose career kind of went downhill. Uh, I, th I believe Maurice Lamarck voiced that version of Vincent Van Gogh. Did a pretty good uh, Vincent Price impression. All right. Yep. Okay, wait, can I go now? Oh, wait. We're on board. Something hit the roof, but it seems... Is that most deaf? Quarantine lockdown is lifted, so you can get to the hangar. Comms are still down, though, so be ready for anything. What's the plan? You and Johnson fix up the Kelly. We report to the bridge. Standard emergency protocol. What? Protocol? Hammond, people are dying here. And I'm not losing anyone else. We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. Michael Diaz. Eh. Michael Diaz asks, are there other natives of your home world, or is it just Wolfielites? Um, as far as I know, it's just us Wolfielites, but there's like, there's these little tiny primitive creatures that live on the fourth moon of my planet. Kind of don't uh, acknowledge them as much, though. Oh wait, not the fourth moon, the forest moon. I always get fourth and forest confused. All right. Oh, is that that? No, that's not it. I was like, is that a chest? Oh, wait, no, wrong way. No necromorphs this way. This is a, the way to safety. Yeah, yeah, this way. This is the way. As, th as the Mandalorian would often say. Uh, or... Jin Dejarin would often scoff. <laughs> He'd often say that to his faithful companion Grogu. All right. Uh, I hear you, dude. I hear you. Don't think I'm not on to you guys. Yeah, you think that? I don't think that's suspicious. There's blood coming out of this vent. Leading into this doorway? I mean, come on. Get real. I know what's happening. I'm used to it by now. Alright. Gavin asks, has Goulash met your parents? He's not my fucking... fiancé or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I think it's this way. I mean, I have to trust the elevator. Mr. SBD says, I like Dead Space's navigation system. I mean, yeah, it's nice. You have the option to just know exactly where to go. But if you don't want to do that, you got a map system. That's very useful. If you don't want to rely too heavily on a waypoint system, or you could just, like, follow the objectives and just go by that, and all the doors are nice and, uh, nice and labeled, so you could, you know, just go by the objectives and just look, f just remember your objective and just look for the, uh, right labeled door. All right, let's get some more supplies. I know there's like a necromorph, but it's obviously a trap. I might as well prepare. All right. One thing I wish wasn't so scarce in this game is the stores. This game has like a store system where you use your money. Very useful, but they're very few and far between. So sometimes you'll be like low on supplies. So you just end up backtracking to a store, going through like corridors that aren't don't have any necromorphs. I wish there was... There should just be a store next to every save point. Like, I don't know. I, oh, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> that guy was just like, hey, buddy. Knew you were gonna fucking rob me first. All right. Sweet. Crush that guy. But, you know, I guess... Maybe would make the game a little less hardcore if there's a store at every save point. I guess maybe every other save point. There's like a guy behind me, I just know it. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, yeah, there is a guy behind me. That guy's, like, waiting his turn. Oh, fuck. Are they both dead? Yeah, they're both dead. All right. That could have gone better. That other guy was, like, a total dwarf. All right, let's keep moving. All right, well... King of the Fat says, Doc, do you often create weird and b bizarre creations with goulash and then say, gentlemen, behold, when you reveal them? I used to for a while, but then they always ended up, like, getting kind of fucked up by, like, these food people. I don't know, like, live in New Jersey next to, like, a overweight bald guy wearing sweatpants. You know, it just kind of got over it after a while. All right. Let's see. Man, I was hoping this room would have some loot in it. But no. I gotta... Go into a room that's gonna kick my ass first. Isaac, we made it to the bridge. It's... Ooh, that's not spooky at all. A little doll. Daniels is trying to get into the command computer. It's nice that they're implying that there were children aboard this uh, ship. Definitely dead. Well, dead or necromorphs, you know. I do wish, you know, I was playing, I was playing, uh, Last of Us Part 2, and that game has, like, vending machines you can break and get stuff. No, when you do, do that in this game, you just kind of get blown up. <laughs> I guess. I guess I hit a fire extinguisher. All right, uh, wish you could break the vending machines, though, and get, like, little snacks that heal you up a little bit. All right, well, let's see what's in this room first. Oh, wait, no, this is where I was at. This is the start of the game place. Oh, yeah, okay, so, yeah, let's, uh, head back to the ship. Get ready to evacuate this, uh, scary alien fucking giant ship, Ishimura. Let's fucking do this. Fellas, we're nearly done with the game. We're about to escape. Mr. SBD says, I think Kmart is still thriving in Australia. I gotta move to Australia then. To me, the world went downhill as soon as Kmart's went out of business. There used to be Kmart's as far as the eye could see. Not anymore. You can thank Amazon for that. Aw, oh, man. I like this room because this is where you can really see the uh, film grain effect. Okay, hopefully that ship doesn't explode, because we really need it. It's very important. It would kind of suck if it exploded or anything like that. All right. Yeah, it seems fine. All right, let's get on. Let's get on board. All right, got to get some fresh air, of course. Isaac is quite the hunk. All right. All right, everything looks good. All right, let's fly out of here. Let's fucking abandon the other guys. They're screwed. Haley, I need you to listen. The Ishimura's overrun with the fucking monsters. You didn't hear anything? What? No, the comms are still out. Isaac... We need to kill them fixed now. Got a damage report? Uh, yeah, it, it's there. All right, well, let's uh, check out this damage report then. All right, hell yeah. Let's see what I can do. I'll try my best. Oh yeah, that's that's not good. You don't want uh, you don't want that to happen. Go. Oh, oh no, it's that. Oh yeah, that's not good. Oh. Yeah, none of this is good. As an engineer, I can safely say that none of that is good. Oh, yeah. Well, at least I was blown free of the explosion. That's how you know I'm the main character. Not just my cool uh, space helmet thing. Oh, fuck. Get out of my face, dude. 
That guy's just like, I can't wait to get a chow down on this guy. It's like a, it's like I'm a full course buffet or something. Wow. They're like, they're like so disappointed they missed the explosion. Ah, oh, there's another one of these guys. They're fast. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Yo, oh, you're still alive. All right. I'll keep shooting at you. Sweet. Isaac, what's happening down there? Johnson's gone. Tober says, hey, Doc. Hey, Wolfie Lights. How is everyone? I'm worn out, tired, upset, been having family issues. It's been bringing me down hard. Glad to watch you play the Dead Space remake. Well, I'm glad to have you here. Hopefully you feel a lot better, Tobers. What about the command computer? It's a brick. All the primary systems are locked down with the captain's codes. So we find Captain Matthias. Track his rig. Okay. That's another cool thing about this, uh, about Dead Space in general is... You're, there isn't like this disruptive UI at all. The UI is just built into the character, into the game. You don't see like a little pop-up of like these guys just in the corner or something. It's actually in front of Isaac and you can rotate around. It's really cool. Of course, his health bar is just built into his suit. Stasis bar too. Nice, cool, and unique. I kind of wish you saw more games do that kind of thing. Kind of build the uh, UI. Cleverly. Well, they're, they're totally screwed. Wow. All right. Off to medical deck. I totally stubbed my toe, and I need to see if they have anything for that. All right. All right. Let's uh, do a little bit of saving real quick. All right, sweet. All right. Where am I going? I'm looking at the chat right now. I'm like, uh, let's see if there's anything I can address. Eh, no, not really. Oh, fuck. No. Get out of my face, dude. You don't have a face anymore, dude. Got Ah, oh, man. That could have been bad. All right, let's save the stasis pack for an emergency. Let's see what I got in my inventory, though. Um, okay, two med packs. That's good. Two stasis packs. All right, all right. We're doing okay. Oh, and I'm actually pretty good on, uh, on the uh, plasma rounds. All right, that's good. Have I been in that bathroom already? Let me check. So I know I went into a bathroom. I don't know if it's the same one. It probably is. Oh, I know. There's some new stuff in here. So even though I went in here already, I at least missed something. But, you know, you would hope that this ship, this whole ship has at least a few bathrooms. Yeah, this is definitely a different bathroom. I do wish... Uh, I do wish... You know, this is just such a fucking minor complaint. I do wish more games had, like, reflections in the mirrors. I know it's, like, a difficult thing to do. But it just, like, adds a little bit of extra detail. They do get around it just by making the mirrors, like, really fucked up, obviously. Really dirty and cracked up, so you can't see your reflection. But, you know, I got RTX on. I got ray tracing on. Should be able to see my reflection. I mean, come on. That's the whole point. That's part of the point of ray tracing. But, you know, it's a, not a big deal. Honestly, anytime I turn on and off ray tracing in a game, I don't really notice much of a difference. It's always just very, very subtle, but it's like, it cuts your frame rate in half, but it's just this very subtle, uh, graphical detail. It doesn't feel like it's necessarily worth it, but, you know, if I can run a game decently with it on, I'll, you know, I will do that, but... Otherwise, it never feels like it's all that worth the sacrifice to the performance. All right. Okay, well, we don't have a tram yet. So, uh, let's, uh, finally use a store. The first store of the game. Okay, I could buy the suit upgrade already. But... Yeah, I don't think I need it yet. We'll just wait. We will just wait. I got plenty of plasma. Well, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to upgrade the suit. I have enough, but at the same time, I just know I'm going to maybe need... All right, well, we'll just save 
the money in general. I'm good on everything for now. I guess maybe just to be safe, I'll buy a med pack. All right. I'll make that money back soon. Eventually get the suit upgrade. Ooh. I guess I could have got a node, but 10,000 for nodes? I mean, come on. Get real. All right, upgrade the plasma guy again. Reload? Uh, care. Well, let's just focus on capacity for now. So yeah, you can up, you know, they have this whole, uh, you know, skill tree for the weapons and your armor. So, you know, you can upgrade damage, of course, the capacity of the weapon, more rounds you can load in, upgrade the reload speed. And I think if I, you have to like, uh, you know, buy the upgrades to enhance your uh, skill tree of these weapons. So I don't have access to the rate of fire upgrades yet. Gotta buy the upgraded uh, version of the uh, fucking... What is this thing called again? Let me let me just see. It's called plasma something. It's called plasma cutter. All right, yeah. Yeah, get the upgraded plasma cutter from the store. But I haven't even unlocked that yet. Nicolo says Doc has soulless black eyes, the devil's eyes, like a doll's eyes. All right, sweet. Let's, uh, fight some more necromorphs. I hear them just, like, running around. They're having a fun time. They're definitely having a fun time. All right. I do love the Ishimura. I think it's definitely the best depiction of a, uh, scary spaceship in any video game for sure. I think if you have top three scary spaceships, it's gonna be Ishimura, Von Braun from System Shock 2. And whatever the fuck that, uh, I guess it wasn't a spaceship, whatever that station was in fucking, uh, Alien Isolation. Okay, here we go. Kinesis, hell yeah. That's short for telekinesis, kids. And the cool thing about Kinesis is it's just, you can just use it forever. Like, there's no, like, limit to how much you can use Kinesis like there is with Stasis. You just fucking hold this thing up forever. There's no power modules or anything. Just hold it and throw stuff. That's it. You basically use Kinesis for, you know, improvised weaponry against Necromorphs, especially if you don't have much ammo. It's very useful, and also just for the puzzles. Uh, it's nice to have. It's nice to know that it's not like a Bioshock thing where you have to use your, uh, actual... You have to use actual resources to use this thing. This is a thing that you can always rely on. All right, okay, that, there's the other one. All right. No, way. Oh, wait, okay. Oh, yeah, it goes that way. Okay. All right. Sweet. Oh, wait, and I can also move this, and then I can get the stuff behind it. Yeah, hell yeah. Assuming there is anything behind this. Oh, wait, oh, there's this. Okay, no, that's not something I can break. There's gotta be something behind here, right? Okay, I guess there wasn't really anything... Be uh, there wasn't really any... Uh, okay, there's... I could've sworn there was, like, a thing where you... Oh, wait, no, wait, that's... That's what it is. All right, I just gotta make space. There we go. All right, now let's... Yeah. Oh, shit! The thing I hate about Kinesis, though, is that you can accidentally... It's... Kinesis... To activate Kinesis, you have to hold down the left trigger and B button to activate it. But if you... You can accidentally press just the B button by itself, and it uses your... Your med packs, because the med packs are just the B buttons by themselves. I hate when I do that. <laughs> I guess I could assign them to different buttons, but I don't want to deal with that. It's just annoying when it happens, just because don't necessarily want to accidentally waste my med packs because there's med packs are like the most valuable thing in the game not not necessarily but if you're struggling playing the game they're pretty valuable because there's no other way to heal yourself you have to heal yourself yourself oh man you dying sucks to be you can i have that gun just come on die already come on all right 
Okay, this is really awkward and everything. Can I have that gun? Uh, yeah. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Can I have the gun? Okay, I... Thank you. Ah, oh, sweet. All right. Okay. Okay, let's keep moving. Man, a lot of body bags. Oh, sweet. Okay, that's a good problem to have. I'm, like, really well stocked on plasma rounds. But, yeah, I gotta equip my new weapon. My new fancy toy. What is this called? The Pulse Rifle. The Pulse Rifle is probably the least useful weapon in the game. It's a reliable weapon, but it's the least powerful weapon. All the other weapons are more powerful than it. But it has, it can carry a lot of rounds, so it's definitely something you can rely on a lot. And you find the rounds for this weapon. They're very common. It's a very common ammo type, so it's definitely a weapon you can rely on. It's just not a great weapon. But it's not great as it is. But it's great for just the, you know, this is the convenience factor. All right. Let's keep moving. All right. Something I'm not a big fan of, I guess, Dead Space, though, is the pacing out of new things. Because, like, I got the Kinesis module, and then I got, very quickly after, the Pulse Rifle. And there isn't really, like, a thing where you get to use, like, the stuff first get to know the thing before you're introduced to, like, another new kind of weapon. Like, I don't know. I wish they paced out, like, the new stuff a little... a little more, just to, like, give you some time to get used to a new gizmo. Because when I get the pulse rifle, I just end up forgetting all about Kinesis, because I haven't gotten a scenario where it's... You know, it's just, like, I don't know. It's not a big deal, but it's just, like... Could have had, like, a little hallway where Kinesis is really useful to, like, get you... Using it, getting you used to it. But it is what it is. It's what I think. Isaac. The one who attacked us. I swear to God it was Chen. But I saw him die. Okay, so Chen is still alive. So that means I could maybe still get the 20 bucks he owes me. Hell yeah. I like the sound of that. Kick ass. All right. Do we got... Man, I am just... I probably should have got that suit upgrade, actually. I'm, like, coming across so many things I could be picking up. But I was like, no, maybe I'll need that money, you know? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, well, okay. I could make some room by finally using my stasis module, at least. All right, what do I want more? Pulse rounds? I, yeah, let's go with pulse rounds. The smart thing would have been the plasma charges, but whatever. Who cares? All right, empty slot. Mr. SBD says, do you think they will remake Dead Space 2 or make a fourth game? I think if they're smart, they'll do both. They'll do what they've been doing with the Resident Evil games. Oh, wait, no, I can get the upgrade now. But, you know, if they're smart, they'll do what they're, they've been doing with the Resident Evil games where they make a remake every other new game. So, you know, they made Resident Evil 8, and now they're coming out with the remake of Resident Evil 4 and just do something like that where it's like, New game, and then remake. They also did the same thing with, like, the Pokemon games for a while. Okay, I could definitely sell the semiconductors. Oh, fuck yeah. I should have did that. I forgot you could sell stuff. Oh, man. All right, let's pick up some of that shit that I... Oh, and let's get that sweet new armor. Let's pick up the shit after I get the sweet new armor. Hell yeah. I'm gonna look so nice and fancy. Nicolo says, didn't you owe Slenderman 20 bucks one time, Dr. Wolfhuler? I, and I'll pay Slenderman back once Chen pays me back, you know? All right, uh, yeah, I don't need to buy anything right now. I just need to pick some stuff up. And then save the game. This game has a mixture of manual saves you can do at these save points, but it also has, like, um, auto saves before, like, really difficult situations. So it's nice to have both options. 
I honestly hate it when a game only has one kind of saving option. Ideally, a game has manual saves and auto saves, because it kind of sucks if a game only has auto saves and you're kind of stuck with whatever save the game gives to you. But it also sucks when a game only has manual saves, because sometimes you forget to save. So it's nice to have something to fall back on. All right, um, I'm probably gonna go into Research Wing. I can go in there now, but let's let's do this first. They're probably gonna ask me to go to Research Wing later. Oh man, dude. Oh, you used to look so pretty. Why would you do that to yourself? A nice little subtle thing is you can hear Isaac's heartbeat. Kinda makes it really feel like you're this guy who's kinda spooked, who's kinda scared. All right. Then again, I don't, I don't know how I mix the audio, how, how it sounds to you, so maybe you can't even hear his heartbeat at all, but from my end, I can hear a little bit of a heartbeat when he sees something scary. When things get a little, a little intense. All right, this is gonna be a tricky room. I can already tell. All right, let's make my way in though. Okay. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, I got a notification saying it's gonna be raining soon, and I don't know why. Okay, there we go. It's gonna be raining. That's not good. For a stream, at least. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Uh. Oh, that didn't work. It didn't work as well as I hoped it would. Oh, man. They really are good at closing the gap. Oh, wait. I wanted to... That's something that is a little annoying with Kinesis, is that sometimes it just won't pick stuff up. I was, like, looking at that thing I wanted to pick up. It wasn't picking it up. So, that's my one complaint with Kinesis. It's not something you can necessarily totally rely on. It's useful when you have... when you don't want to use your weapons and you know for sure you're going to pick a thing up, but sometimes you're not quite in the right spot to pick something up. <laughs> and that always kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. Don't rely on anything. Only rely on yourself in this game. Oh, wait, is there a guy alive? Where is he? Oh, man. Dude, are you okay? Oh, fuck. Who cares about you? I'm gonna be screwed. Okay. Er yeah, you can tell the pulse rifle just not super useful. Just like... You know, the enemies in general eat bullets, but they especially love to eat the pulse rifle bullets. All right, well, let's... I probably can't upgrade anything. Might as well see, though. Okay, so yeah, because I bought the suit upgrade, I do unlock more in the uh, suit's skill tree. But I don't have any nodes, so it doesn't matter. Mr. SBD says, here's some trivia. One of the directors of the Saw films directed a trailer for the original Dead Space. Oh, that's cool. May or may not have been James Wan. Eh, either, it's probably either James Wan or, oh, okay, I got a note. It's either James Wan or Bo, Bozeman? Bo, I'm trying to remember the other guy, but I don't know, it's whatever. It's probably James Wan. All right, well. Let's see what I can upgrade here. Air. The one thing I don't like about the skill tree is that you kind of can't upgrade whatever you want necessarily. You have to, like, upgrade whatever's next. So I don't necessarily want the air upgrade to increase my oxygen supply. But I kind of I can't have to do that before I can get, like, the inventory size upgrade, the durability upgrade, any of the other ones. Not a big fan of that, but is what it is. All right, well, let's upgrade the pulse rifle. That's the new thing. The new toy. Feed it some more bullets. 
Michael Sullivan says Lee Wanell directed the trailer for the original Dead Space. Oh, okay. Kind of thought he was just a writer at that point, uh, but... No, wait, my Michael Sullivan is thinking I'm thinking of Lee Winnell. No, 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 I'm thinking of... When I was, like, trying to remember the name, I was trying to remember the name of the guy who directed the Saw sequels. Lee Winnell co-wrote the first Saw, yeah, but I'm trying to remember the guy who directed the sequels. So, yeah, it's not Lee Winnell I'm thinking of. As far as I know, Lee Winnell... He did make a cameo in one of the Saw sequels, or at least I think maybe a couple of the Saw sequels even, like, as his character. But I don't think he had any real creative involvement with any, with any of the sequels past that point. That's kind of, you know, that's got to be kind of cool. Like, you kind of co-create a big horror franchise, and then you just, you can just step away from it. And it's still going probably still getting residuals too all right circuit breaker time elevators all right can i turn on the elevator okay i can do that can i turn on both no no all right one or the other let's do this okay michael sullivan says darren lynn bozeman okay yeah i was thinking of bozeman yeah couldn't remember his first two names oh no that's not good oh fuck where oh wait Get over here! Let me fucking shoot your fucking limbs off, dude! You dead? You, no, you're not dead. Okay, I gotta just keep shooting you. All right. Yeah, they eat those bullets. Those bullets are just fucking food to these things. All right. I wish you could jump. I mean, Isaac has like a a jetpack, jet boots or whatever, but he doesn't use them. Where's the guy? I hear a guy. I heard a guy. I don't know where he is, though. All right. Oh, yeah, but I... Okay, now I remember. Okay, I gotta move that thing. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. All right. Making a fucking fool of myself. All right. Gotta make a bridge and get over it. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Or maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, I gotta go up there. Let me think. No, okay. No, wait. Okay, I think I gotta... I gotta... No, I use Kinesis from up there. I, for some reason, I was thinking there was, like, a thing down there I had to pull or whatever. No, no, no. No, I use it from up here. All right. Okay, sweet. I'm so used to, like, I don't know, weird rules with these kind of puzzles in Zelda games. Oh, fuck! That guy was just like, hey, what are you doing? Okay. Is, do I have a kinesis thing I could throw at this guy? At this jackass? Um, oh, he's like, okay, I'm getting out of here. All right, that guy means business. He's like, dude, what the fuck? I was just using the bathroom. What the hell? All right, let's heal. All right, okay, I think I got all the loot I need. Nicole asks, Fallout 76 at one point? I streamed it once on my Twitch, like, <laughs> when it came out. I don't know if I'd ever stream that game again, especially here, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, ideally, I would like to stream more often on my Twitch and have, like, I don't know. Oh, man, spooky. You know, have, like, regular streams on Twitch of maybe non-horror games, but... I just always forget to make the time. Not reading that. All right. I'm sure it's some, like, very spooky, profound, uh, backstory lore. All right. Is there any other loot in here? Hmm. Loot, loot, loot. There's gotta be something. Oh, man, these treasure chests. I want to open them, but I don't have the clearance yet. Oh, well. I have to just... cry about it some other time. All right. Okay. All right. 
Okay, sweet. Save point. All right, I like the, I like the sound of that. All right, let's do this. All right, zero G therapy or, so okay, my options are locked door or unlocked door. Okay, it's a bit of a no-brainer. All right, don't have section two clearance yet. I'm sure this long hallway won't have any scary monsters at all. We're good. It's gonna be fine. Oh, actually, it was fine. All right, sweet. Entering zero gravity. Okay. Let's break that. So, yeah, um... Isaac can, like, breathe in space, in the vacuum of space, but he's very limited as far as oxygen. Which is kind of weird, because you'd think he'd be doing, like, some outer space and, like, repairs and stuff, but... I guess it's only ever, like, one minute at a time or something. Alright, and here's where I can finally fly around. Hell yeah. Fucking Iron Man. Hell yeah. And this also introduces uh, flight combat, I think. I think I'm gonna encounter like a necromorph around here, like, jumping me. But yeah, it, it, flight combat, or I guess flight in general in this game is pretty fun, like... It's pretty intuitive and fun. You can boost, and you can kind of tilt and rotate midair, kind of get nice and re-situated. Can I break stuff with my fists in this one? No, I can't. All right, let's just break that. Waste a round. I probably should have used a pulse round. It's much less valuable, but whatever. All right. Am I upside down? All right. Oh man, I am like totally the wrong way up. Okay, there we go. All right, I could have sworn there was gonna be like a necromorph in there, but I guess not. Exiting zero gravity. Oh man, these are some cool suits. Why don't I have those suits? Ugh. What does that say? Tea time? Ooh, I could go for some tea right now. Ah, oh, man, I really want these snacks, too. Miko snacks. Wow. Barbecue. Man, they look so good. I got credits. I don't know why I can't use them. All right, got the hydrazine canister. It kind of looked like the Barbasol can from Jurassic Park. Bringing back memories of me playing that Jurassic Park game and being stuck for, like, an hour on that fucking roller coaster puzzle. One of my worst moments game streaming for sure just super embarrassing never live it down all right okay uh i think that's it for loot okay i think i'm gonna get jumped by a necromorph in this big old big old zero gravity place though i guess his jetpack only works in zero grav though i guess that's why he can't use it in other contexts all right, that guy's like, all right, gotcha. That guy's gonna like, try to get me. I'm gonna try to get him first. All right, okay, cool, I got him. All right, let's get your loot, pal. Plasma energy, hell yeah. Covenant, oh wait, uh, Mr. SBD says motion sickness. Yeah, I guess maybe this game could make you motion sick with these sequences. Uh, hopefully not. Uh, Covenant Slayer says, damn CEC and their budget cuts. Oh, man. Michael Diaz says, that roller coaster puzzle really threw you for a loop, Doc. That's the issue, is like, when I'm streaming, I miss a lot of important context clues and things. They kind of just fly past me. Yeah, I didn't realize you could load in a lot more of the roller coaster than I was aware of. I don't know. It's just like, I didn't know that fundamental thing, so I was just like stuck. Alright. Eventually got through it, though. Eventually. God. Ooh, oxygen recharging. Alright, let's see what this is. Okay, there's something there. Let's see. All right, credits. Republic credits are no good here. I need something more real. 
Oh, fuck. That guy was like, all right, I'm just gonna wait for that guy to come in. That guy's dead? Fully dead? All right, cool. All right, I got his loot. Is there any other... No, there's no floating things. But I can fly in this hallway, though. Hell yeah, I like this. Okay, I'm much slower. But hey, when you can fly, you don't pass up the opportunity. Oh wait, yeah, I need to fly anyway. I gotta go down here. The elevator shaft. One step out of the captain's net to Chen, that thing. Actually, maybe there's something up there. All right, let's check. I trapped him in a damaged escape pod. He's snarling. He's gotta. Oh yeah, yeah there's something up here. Sweet. All right. Okay. All right. I wonder what happens. Nah, I don't even want to test it. If I deactivate my jet boots, all the way at the top of that. Elevator shaft, you, you, you die. That's what happens. You, you die. All right. Michael Sullivan says, Monolith that worked on the Fear games never made a Condemned 3. I always wanted them to. Oh, yeah, I played a bit of the first game. That game's really scary. I've been meaning to stream that first Condemned game for a while. It'd be fun to stream. It's pretty spooky. Definitely has like a really spooky, realistic vibe to it. All right, we're, we're good. All right, we're not good. There's yeah, there's something up there. There's like a guy behind me too. Damn it! Whoa. Now, I don't think anyone in the chat is familiar with this game, but. This game, like, Dead Space always kind of reminded me of another game that was for only for the Dreamcast, a survival horror game called Blue Stinger, if you're not familiar with it. But, like, just the, I guess basically just, I guess the kind of premise of you come to this place and it's, like, overrun with these monsters, but also the monsters, the mutant zombie creatures and Blue Stinger also kind of look like the Necromorphs. They kind of have, like, these stretched out, arms. I don't know, it just always kind of gave me the same vibe. Definitely, you know, separate things, but always just felt like they were kind of, you know, reminiscent of each other. Mr. SBD says, I played Blue Stinger, not a lot. The interesting thing about Blue Stinger is that it's like, you know, at the time, a pretty hardcore horror game, M-rated horror game with, like, cursing and violence and stuff, but they got, like, the, the Dreamcast dubbers for, like, the Sonic Adventure games to play the characters, so, like, the two main characters you play as are the, the voices of Sonic and Dr. Robotnik, and it just sounds like Sonic and Dr. Robotnik in this horror game. It's pretty funny, and I guess the other, you know, the female character in the game you don't play as is played by the original voice actor for Rouge the Bat. So I guess if you're like a Sonic Adventure fan, Blue Stinger is worth playing for that, I guess. I don't know, probably not. Michael Sullivan says John Carpenter did work on Fear 3. Yeah, he did. He also, I think he did some work on the the Thing video game they made in the early 2000s. And he also always wanted to make a game, I mean, not a game, <laughs> there's already a game of this, a, a movie of Dead Space hasn't gotten to, but it'd be cool to see. I think they could make like a series of this Dead Space, uh, like they could make a Dead Space streaming series probably, and he could maybe direct some episodes of it. It would be cool to see him just like transition to just directing TV. He's never done that, he probably, Probably have a better time with that, but I don't know. I guess maybe we'll never see that. Just be cool to see him get back in the director's chair. Good night, Katie. Pleasant screams. All right, which way do I go? All right, go that way. I already saved. Mr. SBD says the Dreamcast was Sega's last, last console. It sure was. 
very sad to me. I was always primarily a Sega guy, so when they got rid of this, the Dreamcast, it was kind of lost as far as... Oh, man, I didn't get that. You can easily miss these doors. Well, not easily. If you're fucking up, you can miss the doors, I guess. But yeah, when I got the Dreamcast, it forced me to get an Xbox, the original Xbox, if I wanted to keep playing new games. Oh, well. Also got a GameCube. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's not good. All right, is this guy dead? That guy looks like he's dead. There's like another guy. Oh, really jumped me. Oh, fu no, okay, they got me in a corner. All right, that's not good. Uh, it's fight or flight right now. All right, I gotta have... Fuck. Okay, I don't wanna... All right, is that it for now? Yeah, no, no, that's not it for now. Oh, that guy got fucked up. All right, where's your other pals? They gotta be around here somewhere. All right, we're good. Well, okay, we're good. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's use the pulse rifle a bit more. Don't want to get too reliant on the uh, plasma cutter. That's a much more useful weapon. Gonna maybe run into something a little tougher. All right. I'm just trying to find if there's like any loot in this room before I move on. Oh man, yeah, this part up ahead, it can get a little hairy. All right. Okay, well, I should definitely recharge my stasis. I want to be prepared for the worst. Yeah, like that. I can already hear some guys pissed off at me. Whoa, that guy just flew. I like that. Definitely appreciated that. That guy did not fly as much, though. Oh, man, that was so cool. That guy just flew across the room. He, it wasn't even, like, something that hurts that much, but he still got... He still flew across the room. Oh, man, they're all flying across the room. These physics are just, like, giving up. Oh, fuck! Oh, get out of my way! I'm trying to get out of here. I'm getting... You're still alive? Oh, man. Oh, they're fucking me up. Okay, man. I hate it when they block your path. It's like... Oh, man, okay. We're good now. Kind of. I think... No, wait, yeah, we're, we're totally good now. All right, sweet. Yeah, that could have gone a lot better, but it is what it is. Quarantine lifted. They were, they were, you know, definitely holding their punches. There's, like, that one guy who totally had me, like, cornered, and he was just like, oh, man, this is just sad. All right, let's, uh, scour the room for supplies. Oh, yeah, I used up all my health packs. Yeah, that's not good. Hopefully, uh, we get some more health packs around here. Okay, uh... Audio log. Dr. Charles Mercer, copy to my secure terminal. I convinced Jürgen to show me the video feed from the colony. It's remarkable. John N. has a super chat. Thank you, John. Love your channel, bro. Thanks. I love the support. Really appreciate it. Kain is erring on the side of caution. His faith has been shaken by these... All right, well, let's see what's in this room. How strange. And my own faith has been so richly rewarded. With or without kind. Okay, I'm not reading that. I All right. Every one of these creatures. Or the next Man, I really want another med pack. Patient, for example. It is what it is.
Scan AIG to unlock workstation. All right. Ben, what in God's name is happening? Oh, this is like Star Wars. Sweet. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. These deaths at the colony. The paranoia, the hallucinations. You want a scientific analysis? Cause and effect? Well, it all began after they raised... I'm guessing these guys are dead. What are you so it's like they're ghosts, if you think about it. The marker is divine. And you know this. Look, I don't... I probably don't have to watch this. Put your mind at ease. They're just talking about the marker. We discovered the marker. We gotta, like... How can that be the truth? We gotta investigate it, because we're, like, part of a cult. I guess that's something... They don't really go into directly too much within the story until later in the game, but essentially part of the lore is in the Dead Space universe, there's basically the Church of Scientology has taken over basically the whole galaxy. And it turns out they have some kind of relationship with the uh, necromorphs. Now, of course, at this point, the Church of Scientology is called the Church of Unitology. But they're basically the Church of Scientology still, you know. It's the same basic thing. They ask you to give all your money to them. They tell you you can't, uh, you know, uh, you can't visit a psychiatrist. You know, that kind of stuff. Um, basically the same thing. Uh, all the money goes into, like, a fleet of yachts. Everything you donate. You know, it's basically Church of Scientology. Finally, a med pack. You think there'd be more med packs in the med section of the ship, but I guess not. Text log. I'm not going to be reading that. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. My beloved Nicole. Dr. Nicole Brennan. I will find you, Nicole, I swear. Oh, sweet, stasis recharge. Plasma energy, hell yeah. Take that. Okay, got a side mission. All right, where to next? Oh, yeah. Did I go in that room? No, I guess I haven't gone in that room yet. Or at least I haven't done the thing I'm supposed to do in that room. Nope, this is definitely a new room. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, more pulse rounds. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, plasma energy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, pulse rounds. Okay. We're good. I, I would appreciate more uh, health, but you can't have everything you want. Darth Gutierrez uh, says, you deserve more subscribers, Doc. That's what I've been saying. Hopefully YouTube can hook me up. Like, come on. I really, really would appreciate it. All right, let's save and continue further into our journey through the Ishimura. All right. Okay, I definitely got to go in there. Hopefully no necromorphs in here. Biological Prosthetic Center. Is it JFK? Wow. I knew he was still alive. Oh man, buddy, you go you okay? Okay, I'm gonna help you out. Oh wait, alright, never mind, I guess. No. Okay, I could still help you out. I just need to find the door. Where is that door? Oh. Um, alright, let's just uh, okay, what Oh no, yeah, you're oh, okay, yeah, you're totally dead. Yeah, you need a head to live. Yeah, you're dead. Oh fuck. Sorry, man. Sorry, pal. Uh sucks to be you. Um Any loot? Nope. Eh. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, I really wish I could have helped you. You just fucking kept the door locked, though. I don't know what you expected. Oh, hey! Oh, you're kind of cute. Oh, I guess these are like the kids. These are the kids on board the ship. Got turned into these things. All right. Well, it's nice to know the babies are still okay. They're still just fine. Okay, I guess these babies turn into those things or something. Okay, that'd be kind of funny. 
I guess they got these event horizon tubes too. All right. Eh. And I was really hoping there was like some more loot in this room. Okay, a text log. Definitely comes in handy. All right. Gavin Elrod says, would a Scooby-Doo Ed and Eddie crossover work? I don't know about that, but you know, it could have been a fun bumper on Cartoon Network though. I don't know if it's this. Oh man. Urgh. Oh, please. That's a useful aspect of stasis, too. Oh, wait. It, you can sometimes, like, you know, just freeze one guy and kind of, you know, keep them out of your hair to focus on another guy. Why did I lose audio? I just, like, suddenly lost audio. What happened? I can't hear the game at all. What's it? trying to say like what what happened to my audio why do i suddenly not have audio let's see no wait, yeah i got audio on my computer i just don't have audio in the game for some reason okay um i might need to okay i'm gonna i guess play without audio the audio bugged i guess in the game so i'm gonna play i guess i also lost vibration in my controller for some reason so i guess the game is kind of just bugged right now but i'm gonna play until i get to a save point then i'll just restart the game kind of weird though kind of weird greetings to you skylar hope you're having a wonderful night all right hopefully i find a uh, save point around here oh man okay i'm just gonna go back to the nearest save point I hope it's, uh, I hope it's not just me and you guys can't hear sound, because that'd be awkward. Hopefully it's just the game. All right. Yeah, I've never had this bug happen in this game, though. It's kind of weird. All right, hopefully the, uh, okay, yeah, there should be a save guy right here. There we go. Save station. Let's use it real quick. I think maybe all I need to do is actually just reload the game. Don't have to close it, but we'll see. Load game. Let's do that. Got my fingers crossed. Yeah, Nicole L says can't hear it either. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, no. I was like, oh, wait, does that mean you also can't hear my audio? Oh, wow, the game isn't, isn't even loading. Okay, yeah, the game is definitely bugged. All right, let's close it. Sorry. Let's reopen it. Sorry about this, folks. It's a new game on PC. They're not going to have all the bugs ironed out. I wish they did. I wish they did. The game even loading right now? Oh, yeah, even Steam gave me a pop-up saying an error occurred with Dead Space. All right, waiting for it to launch. What the hell? It, yeah, the game won't even load. What the hell? Oh, no. I hope this isn't the game just deciding I... Oh, wait, it says I'm still playing it. All right, exit game. All right, this is weird. This is a weird bug. All right, okay. Uh, yeah, it's... Oh, wait, okay, now should hopefully be able to open it. Okay, now it's finally opening. Yeah, all right, I guess it was just a bug. Just a harmless little bug. But now I have to, like, fix the orientation of the screen. All right, let's... Going to my... Oops. All right, let's change the size of this screen. Man, I hate it when this kind of stuff happens, though. It sucks. Probably should have got this game on uh, PS5 instead, but is what it is. All right. Now, I'm away from the screen right now, so there's no sound, but... Yeah, okay, now we got sound. All right, fixed it. Hell yeah. Okay, yeah, it was definitely just a bug with the game. Okay, let's continue. Damn. Man, man has a super chat. Will you do a Velma 2023 review? That's the plan. I'm currently editing it. I announced it uh, at the start of the stream if you missed it. But yeah, going to be making a review of Velma. All right. Well, we got sound now. Hell yeah. 
not the most optimized PC game around, especially a new PC game. There's gonna be some kinks. But, uh... Just gotta watch out when, uh... Audio stops working suddenly. That, that's all. Okay, yeah, let's see what we got in here. Nothing? Alright. It's not the same kind of game without sound, too, so I'm glad I got it to work. Alright. Anything in here? Uh, nodes. Hell yeah, nodes. Okay, now let's see. Um, I think all I gotta do is... I think I do that. And that makes it so it doesn't hurt me. Alright. Sweet, does that guy have anything? Oh, shock pad. Daniels isn't answering her rig link. What's your status? I found a shock pad I could use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage. Alright, let me double check, make sure I've totally fixed the issue. Alright, looks like I did. Okay. Just wanted to make pad. sure. I'm not losing anyone else. And now it started to rain. Always raining on my parade. Alright. Which way to go? Okay. I need to make sure to report the, the bug to EA. Sometimes you lose audio in the game and you have to hard reset. Make sure they know. Alright, uh... Aw, oh, man, I always hate it when I miss. Shit. Aw, oh, man, and I need the... I need the stasis, too. Okay, I gotta... Because I gotta find a fucking stasis recharge. I should be hitting the hinge of the door and not, like, trying to hit the actual door, but... Oh, well. All right, let's see where the na nearest... It should be downstairs, actually. Oh, wait, what... Wait, what is that? Let me check the legend. Uh, okay, now that's a circuit breaker. All right, so I gotta go downstairs. Recharge my stasis. I know there's a stasis recharge down there. All right. Hopefully you guys can't hear the rain, because it's a pretty heavy storm right now. I'm gonna turn on my noise-canceling mode, <laughs> so I can't hear the rain at least. All right, go back upstairs and uh, take care of this door. And this time I gotta hit the hinge. Revan Starborn asks, you a fellow Chicagoan, Dr. Wolfula? Nope, not in the slightest. All right. Security station. All right, well, let's make our way there. And this time actually hit the fucking door. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta just, Knock it off. No, not wrong button. All right, sweet. Oh, there's another guy behind me. Oh, I totally missed the stasis, too. I keep missing stasis left and right. Oh, oh you're still alive? Oh, I thought you were dead. All right, I'm, I'm going to make some space between us. Give me that fucking arm! Man. These guys are tough. Aw, oh, man. I was hoping they had a few more goodies inside, but I guess not. Man, that is one heavy storm. Even with my noise canceling on my headphones, I can still hear it. Damn. Hate it. I hate it when it rains during a stream. Always just makes me uh, feel a little anxious. Harry Callahan says, "I think one charge comes back automatically in the remake." Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I think I still had to go backtrack and get the charge. My charge is recharged at that station, unless I missed a recharge station or something. But it didn't come back. I, I know that for sure. And greetings to you, the unholy messiah. 
Christian Lopez asks, I was wondering, will you ever do another Universal Horror Month again? I'm planning to. I'm hoping I have uh, everything out of the way and I can uh, do the best Universal Horror Month I can possibly do. I want to at least get like, you know, four reviews of classic Universal Monster movies out this June. We'll see. Try my best. I don't want to fail you guys. Hell yeah! Let's blow some shit up! Alright, and scripted explosion time. Sweet! Oh man, we have run out of body bags. That's not the kind of note you want to see on your fridge. Alright. Probably should have saved after I blew that up, but whatever. Uh, maybe not, actually. I gotta use stasis. Uh, this guy's relentless. Are your arms broken yet? Okay, good. I guess I don't necessarily have to crush him like that. But it puts me at ease. It's a nice little bit of revenge. Oh, man. I feel like the game is... After relaunching it, the game is running a little worse, so... Let's try turning off ray tracing and see if we even notice. Uh, you can kind of notice a difference, I guess. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like in some ways ray tracing off looks better, in other ways it doesn't. I feel like I'm not noticing a performance difference, though. Ooh, weapon upgrade time. Hell yeah. Okay, so I guess you can find... There's a mixture of weapon upgrades you buy and weapon upgrades you can find. All right. Okay. I guess let's go this way. All right, let me uh, check... Yeah, I guess the game is just kind of running worse after restarting it for some reason. Oh, man. Oh, well. It's not its not running in an unplayable way. Oh, there's my gilf girlfriend! Hell yeah! Hey, Nicole! Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, she's just a hologram. Oh, man. I was really hoping I'd get laid already. Damn it. This has been terrible. All right, well. Michael Diaz asks, Purple Rain or Raining Men at the Wolfie Lair? Gotta go with Purple Rain. All right, I guess I gotta recharge that fucking thing. All right, let's find the uh, battery pack. Oh, I put that thing somewhere around here. Ooh, more lore. Yeah, definitely read that later. All right, here's a battery pack right there. First, though, let's crush some stuff. Actually, uh, Ishimura clan. Let's see what's in here. No, wait, that's where I came from. Never mind. Can't open those... Can't open those yet. All right, well... Okay, I... Ray tracing, ray tracing off didn't have much of an effect anyway, so I'm gonna turn it back on. Yeah, it's kind of weird, though. It was running a lot better, and then it bugged, and now it's just not running well again, but oh well. I feel like it's just stuttering more. I feel like it's running fine. It's just doing more of the stuttering shit. I wish they maybe spent a little more time optimizing the PC version, but it is what it is. Security clearance. I know, I'm getting the other thing. All right. Okay, I almost forgot. I got it. I'm just so obsessed with looting right now. I'm not even thinking about grabbing this battery pack. Oh, wait, no, that's not a battery pack. I just gotta move that. Okay, where did I put the battery pack then? 
It's around here somewhere. Oh wait, no, I got. Oh, I almost forgot. I gotta pull it out of this thing. Oh wait, okay, I gotta turn off everything. All right, I got you now. Oh no, this is gonna be bad. I can already tell. Where are my homies? Oh, there's one of them. You're oh. Oh, you took that, you took that like a champ. Oh, man. Of course you have like a friend on the ceiling too. All right, where's your other pals? Oh, fuck. Is he dead? Okay, I think that guy's dead, but I still have, like, another friend down here. Give me a... Oh, fuck. I should have been strafing more. Oh, well. And I should have... I always forget to use Kinesis. I should have been using that. Oh, well. Ricky has a super chat. Thank you, Ricky. Have you ever heard or played the series Alone in the Dark. I have heard of the games, for sure. They're definitely... The original Alone in the Dark, I'm aware, is the first uh, example of a modern survival horror game. Or I guess... Eh, I guess not really modern anymore, but uh, definitely an influential game in the, the survival horror genre. Um, I haven't played any of them. All right. Oh, yeah, okay. I gotta bring it to this thing. Where... All right. Where's the... Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. There we go. It goes right here. Yeah. Like a glove. All right. Okay, let's heal. Oh, okay. Can't heal up, though. Low. I, I'm, I'm a little low on health. And I also don't have any med packs. It is what it is. Definitely got lots of credits, though. I could definitely buy some med packs. Fortunately, don't have any uh, stores around here. Oh, well. Hey, baby, where are you going? Just want to give you your medicine. Do I have the thing yet? No, okay, I definitely don't have level two. That's for sure. Michael Diaz asks, ever play the medieval video games? I have not. I know they made a remake of the original game. Never played it, though. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're still alive, aren't you? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you're still alive. Okay. Sometimes, you know, they already look dead, so it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. All right, De I'm out of stasis charges, and I'm out of med packs. Oh, well. Make do. Country girls make do. All right. So yeah, the PC version, unfortunately, has a bit of a stuttering issue. If you look up Dead Space PC stuttering, you'll see, uh, you know, some people have this kind of problem. I have a 4070 Ti, which is a newer high-end graphics card and the game still stutters it runs like a charm with other games other high-end games but fortunately stutters a lot hey finally uh, somebody on this ship with a pair of titties uh, okay uh, yeah it doesn't look good um you okay, you okay ma'am you okay miss Oh, okay, yeah, you- oh, all right, okay. Guess I probably should have saw that coming, I- yeah. Everybody keeps dying. All right, well. Sue Blanton uh, says, what is your favorite survival horror game? I don't know, I feel like I haven't played enough of the genre to really have an absolute favorite I go back to. 
like true survival horror games i like you know i love bioshock it's a spooky game but it's not scary okay actually i guess i would go with system shock too even though i've never fully beaten it it's definitely the survival horror game i always think is the spookiest for sure Tobers asks, you ever played the Callisto Protocol? Unfortunately, I still haven't. I hear a lot of mixed things about it. A lot of people seem to not like it. But I haven't played it myself, so I can't comment on it. Man, Isaac is taking this like a champ. It's like this has happened to him before. All right, let's pick this up. I want to be careful. Okay, yeah, I knew I was gonna... Oh! Hate it when it doesn't do anything. It always sucks. Get back here. Just come on. Just stay in one spot so I can kill you. Come on. There we go. And you better have a fucking med pack, dude. Pulse rounds! Sweet. Just what I wanted. Just what I fucking wanted. All right. Yeah, there's definitely no other loot in here. All right. The Unholy Messiah says, have you ever played Condemned? Yeah, I was talking about it earlier. Definitely a spooky game. One of the spookiest. Definitely want to stream it sometime. All right, well. Oh, okay, yeah, this is gonna be a... This is gonna be a little tricky. This is gonna be a little bit tricky. Oh, okay, well, let's definitely grab that. All right. Make the most out of a bad situation, and this is definitely a bad situation. Alright, just gotta remember to use Kinesis and Stasis for sure. Alright, not reading that. Okay, definitely want that, yep. Alright, please tell me there's something else in here good. Um. Uh, Okay, there's something here. All right, let's reload everything. Okay, all right, let's uh, fucking do this now. Tobers has like a uh, hidden comment that says, hidden by YouTube automatically. It says, don't buy Callisto Protocol for $70. Okay, I won't. Wait for a sale. All right. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Yeah, that really does not look good. Oh man, did you have to get the dead guy on me? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, he's getting dead guy juice all over me. Ew, gross. Ah, eat fire extinguisher, dude. All right, let's take care of this captain dead guy first. And then work my way up to the uh, main course. Please tell me that thing is thoroughly dead. Oh, he still got me. I wasn't even in front of him. Their hitboxes are uh, very generous to them. All right, that was fine. Okay, I thought that was going to be a lot worse than it was. All right, sweet. Okay. Credits. Uh, plasma energy. All right, whatever. Captain's rig. All right. I don't know what that does. What's your status? Do 
you have the captain's rig. Fuck me. Okay. I'll fuck you. Transmitting codes now. I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. God. Jeff Weber asks, Doc, can you, you send goulash to my job in my wow. place so I can watch some more gameplay? Exactly. I promise you'll hate it. I'll do my best. He's plan. on his way now. Just keep an eye out for him. Oh man, I didn't even really use Kinesis that much. I guess I used it... No, wait. I... Yeah, wait. I did use it once in that fight. Could have come in real handy if I used it more, though. But I kind of just stasis the fuck out of that guy and just fucking... Let loose on him with the plasma cutter. Isaac. Most deaf again. Hell yeah. The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward each of seven. Oh god. I have to get to engineering. There's I feel like they named Aegis Seven after Aegis Seven and up. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this all right, let me let me fix my uh, screen. All right, okay. Just wanted to, yeah. My Steam Labs is way too big. Let me make that screen a little smaller. There we go. That's more like it. Damage reports right. There's a shortcut to engineering. Oh, this room again. Great. Okay. Uh. I like the uh, structure of the Ishimura. Like, instead of making me backtrack through the rooms I went through, it had a whole other different passageway that was locked. Brought me back to this main room. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. Where am I going? Thank you, Waypoint System. You're my best friend, Waypoint System. All right. Uh, okay, let's uh, go around here. Yeah, definitely through this door. But I also love the save system. It should be a save guy around here. Clearance. Oh, sweet. Security clearance one. Let's open this up. Actually, maybe... Okay, I'm gonna check that room again. Maybe there's some more security clearance one chests in here that I missed. Just want to make sure. I feel like there isn't, but... I know that uh, backtracking, there's gonna be some that pop up, but I guess not in this room. Oh, wait, maybe in. No, wait, no, yeah. There, I went in there. Never mind. That's where I came from. Alright. Okay, this is the safe room. But first, let's check out the old general store. Okay, I can buy stasis packs. I don't want to do that, though. Do I have anything to sell? I could... I, no, I don't think I can sell the plasma cutter upgrade anyway. Um. Yeah, nothing really to sell. I guess I'll... How many... Yeah, okay, I definitely need... Let's play it safe. Let's get two of these. I want to be careful. I could just play the game better, but... Definitely want to fall back. All right, let's save. Nico Samuel says, make us whole, Doc. Oh, I'm going to do something with your hole, that's for sure. Okay, all right. Oh, this place is a fucking mess. Ugh. Not the fucking maid. The engineer. Let's keep moving. Okay, yeah, all right, all right. So I gotta go through there. Oh, another save point. I don't... Okay, let's pick up some of these body bags, throw them around. Let's just have some fun before we move on. Okay. All right. I think this leads us to... Okay, I, I, I guess I... No, yeah, no, it's a tram, never mind. I was like, okay, I guess it's not a tram. It just hasn't arrived yet. Sweet. Oh man, this is the cleanest looking subway car I've ever been in. 
Okay, so can't like go to these other places yet. It would be cool if you could go in any order, but you know. Nope. And you know, the game doesn't have any load times, which is cool. But it does mean this uh, tram is basically a load time, a load screen. But you know, oh, okay, wait, no, I guess that was faster than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, that was quick. All right, sweet, never mind. All right. Could have sworn the last time I played this game that tram took forever. All right, to medical. Well, let's see what, where this takes me, real quick. Okay. Um. All right, let's just use the workbench. Michael Diaz asks, "Do you like old pulp heroes like the Shadow or the Spider?" I like the Phantom, but that's basically just because Billy Zane played him. That's what I really like about the Phantom, though. I couldn't tell you anything about the Phantom besides that. I mean, I guess he looks like a... I guess he looks kind of cool in that purple uh, leotard, but... Other than that, I couldn't tell you anything else about the Phantom. All right, reload time. Okay, let's just use that. All right, now let's upgrade the suit. Oh, bite the bullet. Upgrade oxygen. All right. Uh, unfortunately, Billy Zane is not here with us during this stream, though. I wish he was. But he's here with us in spirit, though. I feel like once I say Billy Zane's name, he'll... His Billy Zane's senses will tingle and he'll finally be with us. And make us whole again. Yeah, I definitely use the pulse rifle. I'm hearing some violin strings. That's always a good sign when you're in like a horror situation. All right. I think this is a bathroom I've been in already, but might as well check it out. Man, this is the cleanest public restroom I've ever been in. All right. Not even a single glory hole in sight. Not bad. Oh, fuck. Should not have done that. Okay. Oh. All right. I, I forgot. I forgot that was a thing you can do with the pulse rifle, though. It could shoot, I think, 50 or 25 rounds as an explosive. Um... Luckily, the explosion didn't hurt me, it seems. Uh, I should probably uh, reload, reload my stasis. Because I forgot it was no longer lo- Oh, wait! Oh, okay, that's just a hologram. Never mind. We're fine. All right, that's the way I should be going, but, you know, I just like to, like to go off the beaten path, but I've been here, so I've got all the fucking loot already. I don't know why I'm thinking, okay, there's some new loot that I missed. All right, I don't need to save again so soon. I gotta take it easy with the saving. All right. Isaac, this damage report says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar doors. I'll open them now. Oh, thanks, Hammond. I appreciate it. Now I can fly around again. You'll need your thrusters to reach it, but that lift shaft should take you straight down to engineering. Can you read my mind? Do you know what it is you do to me? I'm a fool. All right, okay, uh... I know there's, I think there's like a little sneaky mischievous necromorph 
running around here, but maybe not. Okay, down there? All right, well. Okay, so I gotta go through here. Okay, all right. So I was like, okay, I can't go through that. But no, I can. It's just there's no air in here. All right. Fair enough. All right, let's not linger around too long. Which way am I going? All right, let's get an idea of where I'm going first. Instead of wandering around blindly. Cole Warner's movies and Game Chamber asks, thoughts on Spider-Man 2? Yeah, it's definitely my, uh... Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, why am I even bothering with these jackasses? Just keep moving. It's like, why am I trying to get myself into a firefight right now? Very little oxygen. All right, okay, let's just keep going down here. Wasting all my resources. I don't have to fight those things. At least I hope I don't. Yeah. Alright, plasma energy, just what I need. Okay, yeah, I definitely gotta go down there. Can't just step down, though. Alright, I was hoping that was some oxygen, but I guess not. Alright, let's get all the way down. Where am I going? Okay, here we go. But yeah, Spider-Man 2 is definitely my favorite Spider-Man movie, for sure. Some of Raimi's finest work. To me, it goes Spider-Man 2, then Spider-Verse, and then uh, Spider-Man 1, as far as top three Spider-Man movies. All right. Okay. Well, I feel like there's probably more in this room, though. Let me let me double check. There's got to be like some more hidden loot, like on like a shelf or something, right? Nothing. Oh man, I was could have sworn. Like I was like, there's got to be more to that room. Nope. All right. All right, what do we got here? Oh, text log. I'll definitely read that sometime. All right, sweet. Warning. Orbital position compromised. Correct course immediately. Neon Chimp Channel says, Ooh, million dollar idea. Escape the wolfy layer. Um... I know you're joking, but I, for a while I've had the idea to do basically a choose-your-own-adventure visual novel kind of video thing where you use the end screens to make choices, where it's like, and it was, it, it is going to be called, if I ever do it, it was going to be called Escape the Wolf You Layer kind of thing, where... One choice you make at the end screen leads to your death, and the other screen leads to continuing the story, and I don't know. It'd be a fun idea, but also be a lot of work. And I'd also want there to be, like, you know, optional storylines where you don't die and you just follow a, just a different story path. That's just, yeah, it'd be very difficult to do. We're tethered to a four trillion ton payload. Without the engines, it's dragging us down to the planet. Can you handle it alone? Sure. Fix the centrifuge, get the fuel running, then do a full restart. But you'll need the stabilizer orbit from there. Standing by. Fast as you can, Isaac. I'll do my best, Hammond. Don't worry. I'll do my best. All right, let's save real quick. Michael Sullivan asks, am I interested in an expanded Mad Max universe? Well, as you say, they're going to be making a Furiosa spin-off film. I guess a prequel slash spin-off. Definitely looking forward to that. Um, 
Because, you know, Fury Road, definitely one of the best action movies of all time and also one of the best sequels of all time. You could even say it's the best Mad Max movie. I watched all the Mad Max movies recently again. And definitely, I don't know. It's kind of hard to call because, you know, Road Warrior is fucking... is a great movie, but... I don't know, maybe Fury Road's much better. The third Mad Max, I mean, the first and the third Mad Maxes aren't so great. The third Mad, Ma Mad Max especially, because I think it was PG-13, and it just felt more like a kid's movie. Um, overall, it had like a Peter Pan aspect to it. It just didn't feel... Uh, there wasn't as many uh, car chases and stuff, but, you know, Thunderdome is still a fun movie. It's just not as good. Still a good movie overall, though. Uh, Oh, wait, what did I just get? I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at the chat. All right, let's see what I got. Okay. Oh, yeah, the Ripper. Really comes in handy. Definitely one of my favorite weapons. Rip and tear until the job is done. All right. Is there anything over here? Uh, let's see. Well, let's see what's over here first. The bathroom. Yeah, I gotta take a big leak. All right. We need help down in engineering. Devers, get those wires off. I don't want to. Man, those guys sound like they're having a great time right now. Ugh. Haunted showers. Is there something like on a up on a pipe or something I can grab? Oh wait, you know, here's another thing. All right, sweet. What the hell is happening? Special K asks, looking forward to Atomic Heart. I saw some gameplay of it. Looks interesting. It's like a Bioshock spiritual successor. It looks interesting. I'll definitely look into picking it up, potentially. I'll... Unlike with this Dead Space remake, I'll wait and see how the PC version performs. Um, first. Because I, you know, I'm, I know this remake is going to get fixed eventually on PC, because, you know, it's perfectly play playable on PC, but it has lots of stutters that kind of make it a little annoying to play, so. Might get Atomic Heart on PC if it's, you know, performing well, but yeah, I love the Ripper. You can also just, you can also just shoot the, shoot the saw blade too. Very useful. You can definitely see the applications for something like the Ripper on a spaceship. Something that, ha you know, just floats saw blades in front of you. You definitely see the non-violent applications for it. All right, okay. Actually, maybe, okay, maybe I could make, I could maybe fix the stuttering just by turning off vertical sync. That could work out. Or it could create lots of screen tearing. I guess we'll see. I feel like it's not stuttering so much, so I, at least there's that. Now, I have a G-Sync display. So it gets rid of screen tearing, so I could just turn off vertical sync. But I don't know how that it looks to, like, people watching a stream, though. I don't know if you guys could see, like, any screen screen tears I can't see. Actually, it's still fucking stuttering anyway. Never mind. <laughs> Damn PC ports these days. Oh. All right. I know there's a guy behind me. I want to... All right. Let's just... Are you still alive? Is he still alive? Let me see. Yeah, he's definitely dead. All right, sweet. Okay. Let's see. Which way do I go? Definitely that way, but you never know. Maybe there's like, yeah, there's a little get goodies over here. Special, special cases, Atomic Heart is free on Game Pass. Okay, then I guess I'll definitely play it on Game Pass on PC if it, if it performs well. But then again, it'll be free anyway for me. I got Game Pass. All right, I'm just gonna turn V-Sync back on. It didn't have any effect. Yeah, it's just the PC version of this remake in general. 
on some hardware, it just stutters. It performs great, but it just stutters. And they still haven't figured out why it's it stutters like this. <laughs> oh well. They're still investigating it. All right. Okay, okay, well, that's my problem. I need to get this lift over here. Scott Miller says, how bad do you think the Winnie the Pooh horror movie will be? Um, I think it's definitely not gonna be good. I need to try to watch it in theaters because I think it's out now. I think it came out yesterday or it's coming out tomorrow. I can't remember if it was the 12th, 12th or not. The 12th or the 10th, something like that. I don't know, I guess. But I do know I need to try to see it because I've talked about it a lot. Then again, maybe I should just wait until it's out on video and I'll have more access to clips for a review. I don't know, I'd probably be better off waiting. Oh, fuck. Um, all right. That's not fair, though. Okay, well, that took care of those guys. You're still alive, dude? Your friends are totally dead. Oh, that's... Oh, that's fucked up, guys. I thought we were friends. Friends don't do that to each other. Oh, fuck. Oh, I wasted so much stasis. Ah, oh, damn it. I got a lot of shit, though, so there's that at least. Damn. All right, is that it? Okay. Man, that ribcage was just bugging out. Okay, well, let's see. More context about what has been going on on this ship. Damn it, I need the fuel station keycard. Primary engine and damage the valves to hell and back. We just wasted an hour fixing them. Now we need to restart the self refueling station, but some jackass turned off the power and locked up the. Nicole L says, "Are you gonna go see Cocaine Bear?" And Special K says, "It's directed by Elizabeth Banks. I doubt it's very good." I mean, this is the first movie she's directed, so I don't know what the. What the precedent as far as Elizabeth Banks movies are concerned. I'm sure it's gonna be. Well, okay, I don't want to get too hopeful. I'm sure, it's probably gonna at least be decently entertaining, but I guess we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna see it in theaters or anything. Um... Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. I gotta keep my eye on the prize here. All right. I'm just fucking up left and right. Really dropping the ball thinking about cocaine bears. Oh, hey, babe. How you doing? Andy. Daniels? You made it. Thank God. After the bridge, I like to think Daniels' first name is Danielle, so her name is Danielle Daniels. I can hear them, but... No, it's probably not the case, but I like to think it is. I tracked down your rig. You're an engineer, right? I'll get myself admin. TJ says, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey is out on the 15th. Okay, yeah, it comes out on the 15th. For some reason, I thought it came out before Valentine's Day. But it was actually, it comes out right after Valentine's Day. All right. Got the two mixed up. So there's still time if I decide to see it. In theaters. Man, I was really hoping it'd come out. Like, direct to video. I hate the fact that that and that Grinch movie didn't just come out direct to video because it makes making a review so much more convenient. Like, they're not a movie I f would want to go to the theater to see, but fucking making me have to see these movies in theaters if I want to review them right away. But even then, I'm I'm just forced to fucking use just the clips from the trailers, though. It's just man. <laughs> Guess that's how they get you, though. All right, sweet. Let's open this up. Pulse rounds. Yeah, definitely exclusive, exclusive shit. 
Alright, let's see. Um, well, I gotta turn off lights. I need that. Downside is it's gonna be very dark and a lot more spooky. Special case says Elizabeth Banks directed Cocaine Bear, not Blood and Honey. I know that. That's what I was talking about when I was talking about Elizabeth Banks. But we were also talking about Winnie the Pooh, too. There are two movies coming out close to each other that are kind of wacky. <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah, definitely keep going this way. Actually, where's that safe station? Let's... Let's be safe. Okay, yeah, it's around the corner anyway. I hear you, guy. I hear... I hear a necromorph, but I don't see it. Alright. Okay, there he is. Alright, sweet. Thanks, pal. Alright. Special case says I was clarifying uh, what I said. Sorry, to, okay. The King of the Fat asks, would you want to take a submarine dive to the Titanic? I mean, I'd be interested in that for sure. Just to hopefully discover, I mean, I guess to uncover some Billy Zane memorabilia, I guess. Because he didn't die on the Titanic. He got away. Thankfully, he lived a long life. Unlike Jack. <laughs> Fucking Jack. <laughs> More like jackass. Alright. Pull down. Alright, sweet. Consider those engines refueled. Oh, where are you? Okay, there you are. Ha <laughs> ha, you're dead. Okay, there's another one, though. Definitely very much alive. Where are you? Come on over here, dude. Come on. Come on, make up your mind. Are you gonna hit me from there or not? I hate indecisive necromorphs. Those are the necromorphs I hate the most. They just can't fucking make a choice. Arr! Oh, man, I hate it when they shoot the goo. That's what she said. All right. Dude, just, just get closer to me. You're making it really hard to shoot you, and I hate having to dodge the goo. Okay. Oh, you didn't drop anything? Ah, oh, fucking... Damn it. All right, let's move... Let's use the, uh... The Ripper a bit more. I feel like it, no game is complete without a weapon of some kind called a Ripper. Fallout 3 had a weapon called the Ripper. It was a chainsaw thing, a little chainsaw. And those are the only examples I could think of. That's the only example, but... Every game needs to have some kind of Ripper. Alright. Yeah, let's see if there's anything I missed over here. Wanna... Yeah, no, I'm guessing nothing. Nothing I missed. All right, definitely got to cross this. And hopefully there aren't any respawning enemies across the... across this point. Because that would suck. Scott Miller asks, Did you ever see the Rob Zombie's Monsters movie? The plan is for the Gulag to review it. And that might be what Goulash reviews right after he's done with the animated Adams Family movies. Might be a decent segue. Go f go from Adams Family to Monsters. Feels feels right. Uh, I guess opportunity to go into the Monsters history a bit, too. I'll probably help Goulash discuss Rob Zombie as well in that video, but we'll see what happens. It's been the plan, so I haven't seen it yet. It's been a thing that's been held off on until... 
ready to make an actual video about video about it. But I, you know, I've heard mixed things. I've heard someone say it's actually a really good, fun movie. And I've seen some people say it really sucks and it's one of Rob Zombie's worst movies. Um, so it's kind of all over the place for sure. Guess it depends on what... Oh. Oh. I guess it depends on what's what's your thing. What's your what's your taste? Uh, ultimately, what's? Oh fuck! Get over here, dude. You're just dragging it out, man. All right, let's see. Gavin asks, favorite Sonic character? Well, I gotta go with Knuckles, because the cool thing about Knuckles is that, unlike Sonic, he doesn't chuckle. He rather flexes his muscles. And he's also hard as nails. It ain't hard to tell. And he'll he'll break them down whether they're, they're solid or frail. Lots of great qualities to have. All right. Okay, um... Damn it. All right. Dead. Oh, wait, no. I can go through this way. I just don't need to go there yet. All right. Time to kick some ass, quote unquote. All right. Let's try this on that thing. Nope. Nope. You dead? Yeah, you dead. All right. Cool. Sweet. Thanks, man. Oh, fuck you, dude. Yeah, it wasn't fun, was it? Yeah, this isn't fun for you. You're not having a great time. Maybe you should turn the other way, dude. Oh, fuck. Okay, all right, well. Worked out eventually. <laughs> all right. Is it this way? Oh, okay. So, yeah, I do have to go this way anyway. All right. Is there a store in here? Oh, sweet. There is. Let's do it. Okay, how many stasis is? I have the one. Okay, do I have anything to sell? Uh, oxygen tank. Um, you know, let's sell that. I don't need that shit. Just need to be careful. Um. All right. Okay. I feel like I got plenty of. Well, let's get one more. Cause I feel like I'm gonna want to use one. I got zero stasis, so let's have that as backup, and then otherwise. Uh, okay. Eh. Fuck it. Let's get some plasma, plasma rounds. All right. Nice and well stocked. Better to be prepared than not. All right. Man, we're already at chapter three. Scott Miller says, I kind of prefer, prefer this over Doom Eternal. I, I have mixed feelings about Doom Eternal. I do like, you know, it's much more over the top and cartoony like the classic Doom games, but... I feel like it's just way too chaotic compared to the first game, where it's just like, I don't know, it's just, there's just so much shit happening at once on the screen. It's just hard to really keep track of it all. I felt like they really got a good balance of that in the first, in the 2016 Doom. I guess not the first one, the first one in 1993, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, Doom Eternal's still good, though. All right, what? Yeah, okay, there's two. All right, okay. Come on, blow up your arms for me, please. Your arms are still intact? Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, I forget they can shoot that green slime at me. What is this, Nickelodeon? Kids' Choice Awards? Cut it out.
You're still alive. Well, okay, yeah, that's not cool, dude. Just die. Man. Is it really that hard to just die? Yeah, okay, I probably should stop using the pulse rifle. I keep forgetting it's not good. It's just... Pulse rifle is pretty much only good for... I guess if you want to use the explosion... The explosion... Explosion? <laughs> the explosion uh, mechanism... Uh, that, that weapon, that part of it. But otherwise, um... It's mostly just used for, like, taking out little guys. The little necromorphs. The baby ones. Or the ones that are kind of limping along. I gotta remember to use kinesis. Note to self. Use kinesis more. It's useful. But I feel like if something's useful in a game, I'm less likely to use it. I don't know what to tell you. I can't explain it. <laughs> I don't want that kind of edge. All right. Oh, yeah, it's basically the same dealio. All right. Let's see if there's a save point nearby. No, not really. All right, let's... Mm. Some good fresca. Oh, yeah. Telepathically drunk by me. All right. Are all my things reloaded? Yep. All right, sweet. All right, let's... Sweet! And I just know there's going to be some necromorphs popping out. So let's be prepared. Let's have some fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I called it. Hey, buddy. Oh, that didn't hit him at all, did it? Oh, wait, no, it did. Okay, cool. I was like... Ah, oh, the explosion just missed him. Oh, Oh, that's how they get you. I forgot him. Still alive, dude? Yep. All right. Okay, he's he's dead now. Oh, thanks, man. Really appreciate it. All right. Uh, why do I keep using the pulse for? What is wrong with me? God. <laughs> I don't know. I know it sucks. I don't know why I keep using it. I got other more useful weapons. It's just like, I guess it's just, I don't know, I guess just mainstream shooter games have just trained me to use the fucking rifle. It's my go-to. J-Rob says, I just learned how to emulate old games on my cell phone. Yep, definitely convenient. I definitely recommend um, getting one of those attachable controllers for sure. Because if you... If you're playing a game on a touch screen, it's just not as not as good. Not as not as tactile, not as fun. It's you know, some games are still totally playable emulated on a touch screen. Um like, you know, turn-based RPGs and stuff like that, but more platformy stuff, I just want to make sure. More platformy stuff can kind of you can kind of get dicey controlling those with a touchscreen. Man, long elevator. Cool engineering rig. Thanks. I made it. Kind of rides up in the crotch, though. All right. Let's grab that. Okay, yeah, all right. Ooh, storage room. Sign me up. Oh, bleach bottles. Hell yeah. Even in the future, they need they need bleach. Especially in a place like this. All right, keep moving. I'm kind of surprised they didn't try to make a 
an alien game like this in this style of game. I guess it kind of is already an alien game. But I'm surprised, you know, instead of like aliens, colonial marines, instead they didn't try to make a game like this. Alien Isolation is kind of like this, but it's much more pure survival game and s with stealth, stealth and everything. This game is like still very much focused on combat. All right, what do I use my note on? Uh, let's, yeah, let's upgrade the Ripper. What do we got here? Credits, of course. Plasma energy, all right, that's something. I can use that. Why do I, okay, don't use the pulse. I have so much fucking ammo in the pulse rifle. Ah, it's just hard to resist. Decontamination sequence activated. Please stand by. All right, I'm standing by. Oh, is this like a sauna? Oh man, feeling so comfy right now. I hear something. Oh wait, okay. Oh right, where is it? I, I hear it. Okay, now I see you. How you do? Oh, you piece of shit. Get back over here, you motherfucker. All right. Where are your friends? Oh, fuck you. Get the hell away from me. All right, I hear some other buddies gonna be popping out. Ah, oh, fucking missed. Oh, that guy's dead. That guy's dead as hell. Where's your friend? I hear something. Oh, now I see it. Oh, you're one of those little guys. The mist is your friend. You were simply born in the mist. I adopted it. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's not what Bane says. Okay. Decontamination sequence complete. Thank you for your patience. All right. Reload this. Uh, let's use the plasma cutter some more. Oh, I got plenty of plasma cutter ammo. All right, medium med pack schematics. Hell yeah, I like the sound of that. I believe schematics are what unlock new stuff you can buy at the, uh, stores. Good night to you, Lich Lord. Pleasant screams. Alright, well... Okay, well, let's see what's this way. Man, this is a long hallway. Oh, it's gonna be worth it, though. I already see some loot. What is it? Oh, nodes! Awesome. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I guess it's something. Alright. Yeah, let's get ready. Just know that something is gonna pop... Yeah, yeah, I knew it. Hey, man. Come on, just... Oh, it's so hard to dodge stuff. Man, I wish they... I don't know, they added some kind of dodge to this remake, but whatever. Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. J-Rob says, I just downloaded Doom 3. They say it sucks. You know, it's not as fun as, like, the more shootery Doom games, but, it's, you know, it's a spooky survival horror game. Went in a different direction with it. But definitely, ultimately, prefer the, uh, you know, the more recent Doom games. Just fun run-and-gun games. J-Rob says, I was wasting ammo. I'm still good on ammo. I got, I got plenty of ammo. I'm, I'm low on... 
ripper ammo, but I got plenty of it. Plenty of the plasma cutter ammo and the <laughs> pulse rifle ammo. I'm good. I'm doing fine. I gotta use the ammo. There isn't like uh, the fights aren't really uh, optional or anything. All right, replenish, replenish that. Okay. All right. Let's take off. Man, I wish I could smack that stuff. All right, let's. All right, sweet. Even more ammo. Oh wait. Oh, I hear a. I hear a pal around here. Where is he? It's hard to tell. I hear him, but I can't see him. Oh, now I see you. How you doing? Where are you? Okay, there you are. Oh, you motherfucker. You dead? No, you're not dead. All right, you're dead now. All right, let's get these engines reattached. All right. Man, this engine has that gorilla grip. All right. Okay, let's do that again. Oh, let's do that again. Oh, come on, get in there. Get in there. Oh, yeah, I guess I can... I guess I forgot you could... Oh, wait, no, I gotta... I forgot. I gotta do that first and then attach it. There we go. All right. Evil Dead fan says stasis in. Already beat you to it. Okay. Oh, fuck. Out of stasis. I probably... Oh, I'm wasting my stasis. Ugh. You dead? I think he's dead. No, I no, I still hear him. Yeah, he's definitely not dead. Where are you, man? You ghosted me? All right. Okay, I hear you. Where are you? Man, they are tricky. Where'd he go? Oh, there you are. Yeah, he's dead. All right. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Okay, let's do this. Come on, get in there. It's like they were made for each other. Because they were made for each other. They were made by the same guy. All right. All personnel clear for centrifuge restart. All right, ready to restart a centrifuge, but let's uh, scour for some extra supplies, extra goodies. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing good so far. Oh, let's heal myself up a little bit, though. Man, I am like all. Oh. Weird. Okay. All right. Now we're good. Oh, no. Now we're not good. All right. Let's fucking activate this centrifuge. Where did it go? All right. Let's just land. Figure out this waypoint shit. Okay. Well, I got the... All right. Let's just find the control panel. I know it's around here somewhere. I saw it when I came in. Okay. Okay, let's find that console. It's around here. Okay, yeah, I think it's up there. Let's see. Well, uh, let's also... Okay, well, I missed something. Wait, what was that? I saw it. 
I saw it pop up. Oh, there it is. Oh, oxygen. Great. Guess it's something. All right. Let's see. Where is that console? All right. Asher says, just got off work. Nice to see you up, Doc. Nice to see you, too. Please tell me that's the console. No, that's not the console. Oh, wait, is that... A... Okay. Oh, wait, or is, is the console in the center of this thing? I'm trying to remember. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Console, where are you? Come on, console. <sighs> the one time I really want the waypoint system to work for me, and it doesn't. It. It's like, I don't know, find it. Mario F says other side. Other side of what? I, you know, I need a little, I need something, a little, need something a little more specific to work. But Evil Dead fan asks, what difficulty am I playing on? I'm playing on normal. Taking it easy. All right. Where is that fucking console? It's okay. Unless that big ass screen is the console itself. Probably not though. Left side. Left side of what? God damn. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I hate it when this shit happens. I'm trying to remember too. Oh wait, it's, I, yeah, it's gotta be down here. I. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere down here. Well, let's break that thing. Okay, yeah, I think it's somewhere down here. Totally missed it. Unless I'm mistaken. Could be mistaken. It seems like maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Okay, I think that's it. I hope it is. No, I think that might be in... Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think... Yeah, that's oxygen. Fuck me. Where is this console? How did I miss it? How am I missing it? It should be like really bro. Okay, wait, is it? No, that's an elevator. Damn it. Damn it. Where is this fucking console? How am I missing it? I feel like it should be like a big thing that I can easily see. But I'm missing it. It's gotta be somewhere around here though. I mean, of course it is. I'm just not seeing it. Where is it? Come on. Uh, is it on the thing? The third floor. All right. Um. Okay. Okay. So that's the first floor. The second. Okay. So it's gotta be. Oh, there it is. Fuck me. Ah, oh, fuck me. Yeah, there it is. Damn it. Okay. Whatever. Fuck, fuck it. Spent five minutes looking for this console. Shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, we got a bit of a uh, time crunch here. Okay, uh, let's get my bearings first before I go running and gunning down there. Let's see, let's, okay, okay. I, oh wait, no, maybe I can break that. Yeah, I can, all right. It's something, all right. I'm gonna need my best stuff before I go down there, that's for sure. Okay, now let's replenish my oxygen and head down. Okay, this is gonna be a little, uh, Looks like a little iffy. Back online. All that's left is restarting the engines, right? Ready when you are. All right. Okay, made it. We just gotta not get hit by that, because we get hit by that, instant death. Okay, that guy's in my way. Let's get... Uh, uh. Okay, that guy's dead now. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, I missed that. I missed the ripper ammo. Oh, of course. Just die. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. You just died. Okay, well, let's just wait. Let's wait it out. All right, okay. All right, we're almost there. Okay. Okay. Actually, could I have gone the other way, actually? Oh, wait, is this the way I came? 
This better not be the way I came. I'm really hoping it's not. I'm hoping I'm at the other side. No, yeah, okay. What did I get hit by? Oh, fuck! Oh, in space, no one can hear necromorphs, I guess. All right, let's keep moving. I like that bit of realism, like you can't hear anything in the vacuum of space. Yeah, that's cool. All right. All right, we're good. Save complete. All right, I don't want to use the Ripper. I'm low on that. Oh, of course. Of course, somebody has to give me a handshake as soon as I get in here. All right. Oh, wait. Okay, I saw your weak... Oh, okay. Come on, give me the... Let me see your tumor. Come on. All right, there we go. Ah, firm grip. Anthony points out you also can't use the flamethrower you get later in space. Okay, yeah, that's a cool detail, too. Need oxygen. Need oxygen for, uh, you know, you need oxygen for fire and also, you know, for hearing shit. Also for breathing. You don't get that in space. Uh, yeah, let's use the, uh, yeah, this is the way. All right. But yeah, I like this game's early sections. It is just you're trying to get the ship to work again. You're just doing your job. Having to deal with all this bullshit along the way. Yeah, hey, it's this way. Alright. Thank you, waypoint system. Thank you. Finally working with me again. Alright. Alright, what do I use my nodes on? Let's see, Ripper. Nah, uh, pulse rifle? Damage? Yeah, let me consider it. Got reload. Eh. Suit? Well, okay. Um, I don't want to use... I don't want to upgrade the size of my in inventory yet. Um, durability... Oh, wait, no, it's stasis duration. Ah, uh, that could be useful. Um, stasis energy? I guess that makes the... All right. Okay, let's, yeah, let's just upgrade the pulse rifle. Make it slightly more useful. All right. J-Rob says I still have my Switch. Everyone should. I feel like this is, you know, the past couple of years for Switch haven't been great. But Tears of the Kingdom finally coming out. And also been playing Metroid Prime remastered on it, so... Getting use out of my switch again. All right, uh, have I been in here? Probably have. Wow, I feel like the game is suddenly performing so much better. It's not doing that stuttering shit it was doing earlier. Man, that's weird. All right. Oh, f I thought there was like a monster right there for a second. Nope. Okay. J-Rob says, how about 3DS? I still got my 3DS, and it's, it's hacked. It's got the, um, the, uh, what's, what do you call that again? Um, but yeah, it's hacked. I can, I can run just, uh, downloaded games off the internet and shit. It's nice. Also got a, uh, DS, I also got one of those DS cards that lets you just load a whole bunch of DS ROMs on them. Pretty nice. J-Rob says, people are talking about 3DS now, too. They're talking about it basically just because, uh, mostly just because they're shutting down the store. So you pretty much, all, all you're left is just buy, buying used games and pirating. But thank you for the generous super chat to Marcus. Really appreciate it. Miss being able to see your streams, Doc. Glad to have your support to Marcus. Really appreciate it. All right, let me think. Okay. Let's see what we got. Well, 
Uh, I guess we'll just get one. Med pack. That should be fine. I also have a modded Game Boy Advance with that backlit screen. The original Game Boy Advance with the backlit screen. Because, you know, the SP had one. We got the modded original one with the backlit. Pretty nice. Also have a uh, modded cartridge so I can just load a whole bunch of different ROMs on it. It's pretty cool to have, like, modified original, original, uh, original tech. Hey, Hammond. I cracked the security All right, file. let's see what's, okay, let's, uh, see what's past this fan. This outbreak started on the colony after the miners dug up some artifacts. All right, oh, okay, that was close. That's impossible. But it would explain why EG7 is meant to be off limits. Circuit breaker, turn right. off the fans. I don't need the fans. Found the artifact. They reported it's gonna really be overheating. Suicide, it's gonna be really overheating the ship. Board anyway. Like that was a plan. Wait. A marker. Okay, back up. Where's this marker now? In cargo. Okay, back up, oh, Professor. <laughs> All right. I'm really hoping at some point in this game they say, so, that just happened. All right. No power. Okay, I, I, I do need power. And I was like, all right, let's turn off the airlock. No, no, I need that on. Let's turn that on. Oh, yeah, okay, so airlock two. Okay, yeah. And a, a necromorph popped out, so that means it's the right thing to do. Where are you? I hear you. I don't, I don't see you. Where you at, buddy? Well, let's see if I can just skip you entirely. I don't have to fight you. It looks like I don't. All right, let's keep moving. Exiting zero gravity. All righty. Oh man, this room is so fucking loud. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, pockets loud. Oh, flamethrower, sick. Kick ass. Thanks, man. All right, uh, I was hoping he would like blow up when I hit him. No, unfortunately. Fired up for work. Oh man, kick ass. They made a poster of me. Already a living legend. Okay, let's equip the flamethrower, though. All right. Let's see if we can use it a little bit. I feel like a lot of games nowadays have these, like, parts where you're kind of squeezing through a little tiny gap. I see it a lot in Jedi Fallen Order, and in the Last of Us games, and in the God of War games. It's like such a recurring thing in games now. Like, it's so common. And you know I love it. I love it when, when I do that in a video game. It's so great. All right, I'm definitely gonna need this for what's up ahead over here. Wait, uh. All right, that's where I need to go. Let's see if there's any good loot in here. Michael Sullivan asks, do you play in the dark? Yep, it's definitely dark in here. My last lock. Though my cartoon me has something else to say. It's definitely not dark. The cartoon world for sure. All right. I found this module that someone used to bust the centrifuge. Burned out. Who would sabotage the Ishimura at a time like this? I'll report to the bridge. If anyone's left. And then I'm finding Elizabeth and getting us the hell off this ship. Well, I'm sure they managed to get off this ship. I am I'm definitely certain of it. They're safe. I feel like I missed something that popped up up there, but yeah, maybe not. 
Huh. What a horrible existence. Oh, well. Uh, all right. Thanks for clearing the way. All right, you fucking assholes. Die. Die, die, die. How many more? Oh, okay, there's one left. All right, that's it. Okay, sweet. J-Rob asks, how do you feel about retro gamers? I hate them. That's <laughs> no, I love playing retro games and consoles for sure. Definitely like uh, the convenience of emulation now. Just makes it so much more, uh, you know, just easy to play some of these old games. Oh, whoa. You okay, dude? Oh, man, his health bar is still fine, though. What? Yeah, he's got it. No, oh, shit. Wow, he went from full health to nothing. Oh, man. Sorry, dude. He's definitely got nothing left in his health bar. Sure. Ripper blades? All right. Sounds good. How much do I have now? All right, well, let's reload. All right. Uh, let's hopefully find a good use for this flamethrower. All right, sweet. Thanks, man. I was hoping something would pop up that would give me a nice flamethrower uh, test subject. Okay, yeah, he's, like, taking his time dying, though. All right, which way? Okay, yeah. Continue descending down these elevators. Gavin Elrod asks, "Have you seen? Have you watched the real Ghostbusters?" I, you know, I've seen clips of it, but I never really watched the show. Well, that guy, that guy's asking to get set on fire. Oh, fuck! Oh man, I hate. How iffy it is sometimes when you activate the fucking sprinting. Sometimes he just doesn't sprint. Get off me! Get off! All right, okay. We're fine. No, no, we're not fine. You did? All right, you did. Hate those little fuckers. They're like little tiny flim flams. All right. Actually, maybe... Okay, well, let me see. Oh, yeah, I guess on these, like, when you're stuck on this sticky stuff, you know, the, the alien jizz, you're not able to run. Okay, never mind. I was like, why am I not running? All right. Okay, well, let me think. Do I want to go... All right, well, let's see if I can go in there. Okay, there's like an oh yeah. All right, well, let's see what loot we got in here. Oh man, sucks to be you. Okay. You okay, man? You okay? Is it too bright? Oh, too bad. All right. All right. Definitely got to go in there, but let's check out the other loot room. Wait, oh yeah, it's just one of those guys. One of those wall guys. No threat to me. All right, is there anything else? I heard something. Okay, there's like a thing on... No, okay, that's not... Where? There's gotta be another thing in here. Is this loot? Nope. I hear... Okay, I guess I'm just hearing the stasis. I thought I was hearing like an item. Man. Oh, well. Let's keep moving. Oh, fuck. Okay, no, that was just a ragdoll. These... 
These wall guys really mislaid you. All right. No, wait. Wrong button. Oh, there we go. All right, let's, uh... You know, you got a long hallway like this. Let's prepare... Oh, yeah! Oh, fuck! He was too close. Well... Oh, I don't know why I was trying to smack him. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Man, I was hoping there would be something I could throw right there. Alright. Uh, oh, sweet. Ripper, alright. Let's try again. I just know there's gonna be something else popping out. Oh, wait, no, there's an explosive thing. I'll just use that. And this guy come... They come down. Aw, oh, man, I should have timed it better. Oh, well. Oh, I probably should have. Oh, man, I hate it when they shoot this stuff in these, like, really narrow hallways. Because you're just like, fuck. Okay, you dead? Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, you, you're, you're dead. Their arms are what keeps them alive. Warning. Planet fall imminent. Correct course immediately. Oh, that's not good. All right. Let's save the game. And I hate to say it, but I've been streaming for three hours tonight. It's finally time to call it a night. But I'd like to give special thanks to my shout-out tier supporters on Patreon and my YouTube channel memberships for all their support. Their support is greatly appreciated and helps the channel continue to grow and continue to thrive. I really appreciate all their help from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, guys. Also, uh, just want to remind you guys, we got some new merch in the TeePublic store. Uh, check it out. Link in the description. TeePublic.com slash DrWolfula. Actually, slash user. TeePublic.com slash user slash DrWolfula. All right, keep that in mind. And, you know, if you want to support the channel some more, you can uh, join in on my weekly die-in theater streams every Sunday night. Double feature of Valentine and My Bloody Valentine 3D tomorrow night. So, you know... Consider supporting the Patreon at patreon.com slash drwolfiel. You get some bonus streams and also early access to Goulash's new Adams Family video. Anyway, I've been your host, Dr. Wolfula. You can tell by my voice, it is really strained, but I had a great time tonight streaming with you guys, and I hope to do it again very soon, and I'll have a new video, a new review of Velma up here on the channel as well. And, you know, finally subscribe. Make sure to click the bell icon so you don't miss when I upload and stream. And, you know, uh, follow me at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at Dr. Wolfula. All right, enough uh, self-sucking. Uh, Gonna finally head out for the night. But again, have a great rest of your Saturday nights. Good night. See you all next time. Doc signing out. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed this live stream. Why don't you watch another thing while I have your attention?